Hello everyone, welcome to event number three here in Las Vegas from the PGT Mix Game Series. $10,200 buy-in horse tournament and we have an incredibly fun stacked final table. My name is Donnie Peters, I'm joined alongside Kevin Gerhardt. You guys can see our beautiful faces on the screen right now. Daniel Negreanu is the headliner. Benny Glazer is the chip leader. Maury Escondani is the legend. Jeremy Osmus and Jerry Wong are also at this table. You guys can see the leaderboard. Benny Glazer up on top with 3.175 million. Jerry Wong is the short stack, and he's got quite a ways to go to get back into the pack. Wong only bringing 360,000 into this final table. More than $201,000 up top for the winner. Everyone left guaranteed $47,000 and change. These final five players came from a field of 63 entries. Again, it was a $10,000 buy-in in this one, the first $10,000 buy-in of this series. First two yeah, events yeah, that we did. Nuts and water and like a little bit of salt or, you know, sweetener or vanilla. And it's like, it's better than easy. the store-bought stuff. Yeah, it, it's very it easy. Yeah, I mean, it takes five minutes. And it comes out really nice. Yeah, my I wife tried got oat. One of those oat did not work it. well. Oat came out like snot. I don't know why. Mm. Like literally, it was like snot. <laughs> I do almond. I like actually, I like uh, cashew. Cashew is my favorite. All right, so we're gonna start off with Raz. No. We are playing no. horse now. We want twenty thousand. I got to get this out of the way early, and I'll probably mention it several times throughout the live stream today. We are not going to have graphics <laughs> for some time. The reason is there is a member of the production team right, at the dude. final table. Right. The head honcho right there, Mori Escondani. Okay, so as long himself. as he's in, unfortunately, no we so can't far, have graphics so so <laughs> due to gaming regulations. <laughs> That's just how it is. I'm just the messenger. Yeah, just, Don't myself. shoot the messenger, please. Okay, but I got an expert alongside of me. I got Kevin Gerhardt here. He is a four-time bracelet winner. He knows how to play horse. He won the 10K horse at the WSFP. Okay, so we'll, we'll figure this out. So we'll approximate the chip counts. We'll be able to read the action. So. Oh, yeah. So... Potentially later the RFID would work or if I'm if, yeah. yeah, you you guys knock me out RFID will be in There you go Maury talking about it giving a little explanation 98.7% <laughs> We are playing Raz which means we are trying to make the lowest possible man. hand ace two three four five oh, Is the oh, best yeah, hand man, possible Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right. Of course I'm the bringing <laughs> Daniel Negreanu making his second final table of this PGT mix game like series Keeping up with that quality over hand. quantity yeah. approach that he came into 2024 with He made the final table of the first event that was a five thousand dollar buy horse jack tournament so jack. he's back here at another jack. horse Again, tournament this time double the buy-in my cards are lower than a jack you give me free info i know you love it he and benny played a really interesting raz hand uh, during the 5k so negroni was didn't pair the deal. looking yeah, probably to get didn't some revenge deal. on right. benny I wouldn't have if I the deal. during this probably. 10k three and a four up for benny jack and a deuce benny gets a 10 Negranu gets probably didn't wear the ten either. Like a, <laughs> yeah, ten for him as well. <laughs> Benny coming in from a steel position, and Negranu knows this. Being the bring-in as a jack, he could have ace deuce in the hole, ace three in the hole. Probably doesn't have a deuce at this point. Would have would have found the fold. And Benny keeping up with the aggression, having the board lead, which is very standard in Raz. Now Negranu has to make a decision. We can assume Negranu has a made jack at this at this point, drawing to a 10 low, but Benny has four cards that are 10 or lower. So if Benny was on a steal, Negranu's jack could be good. But it only takes one card for Benny to be ahead at this point. Any one card, ace, two, five, six, seven, or eight. Yeah, I believe the up cards from the other players were, I think Jeremy had an ace. I want to say Maury had a deuce, and I think Jerry had a seven. So all all low cards that that yeah, all low cards that Daniel's likely paying attention to. He knows. Okay, <laughs> Daniel knows every card. You're that's on the up ten, for people. Sure. In case you don't know, I can say that, right? <laughs> I have a ten draw. Yes, we know. We know you have a ten draw. Listening to the choir. I'm gonna fold this one against my better judgment. It is. A, it is a it's really interesting fun. spot because Benny the one is. To me. Yeah. Quite capable. <laughs> Benny shows a queen. I love it. <laughs> yeah. He just had such a better board than Negranu. Negranu really had to had to buckle in.
to call another 240,000 with the big bet being 120,000 at this point. If you call six, you're both most three, likely so calling better. seven. That's okay, yeah. One, so either Benny one, had the best called. draw <laughs> and Negranu had the best hand, or Negranu was just dead. So the fold there seems correct. Looks like Danny was stretching his back there a little bit. Getting limbered up, play some horse. Doing a lot of hard work, a lot of long hours in these yeah. in these tournaments. Crushing it. Nice. Queen Jerry, bring in yeah. for Jerry. Jerry Wong with the bring in. Daniel and Jeremy should get out of the way with their hands, but Deuce and the three for Maury and Benny respectively. Maury's gonna complete. That's not that's not good for Jerry's remaining stack. He he's around three hundred thousand at this point, which is only two and a half big bets. Raise from Benny Glazer. He's picking on the nice old man. <laughs> a couple yeah. of threes in the hole for Maury. So Maury was on a steal there. Benny, it didn't. Benny, you know, I mean, he had a good hand. He showed it, but he also could have been on a re-steal, just leveraging his stack. Okay, we've we've seen Benny never take his foot off the gas when it comes to aggression. If if there's a line where I I think that maybe you could check at this point, no, Benny's fire, point, fire, fire. What do poker players say? You know, golfers can say like I hurt my elbow or something. I was just swinging right, but what? You can't say I got unlucky. Well, you just say because I got fucked. Saying all our life, this is a game of skill, right? You can't say yeah. I got unlucky. It's just, I remember it's back in the '70s. Skillful. I remember you used to watch those World Series mm -hmm. poker videos in the '70s, right? And all they cared about was like they said, "Well, how do you like, how do you like your chance today?" He's like, "All I know is he gonna have to draw out to be." <laughs> That's all that mattered was when the money went in. All I know is he gonna have to draw out to beat me. <laughs> they have a, he has like seven chips left, but like, well, I got it in with the best hand. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a pride thing, remember? Like yeah. Johnny Moss and Puggy and all those guys. A lot of emphasis on having the best hand. Daniel and Maury, both members of player. the Poker Hall of Fame. On. Kind of, like that's how they saw it in that sense. It's like you don't get it in bad, you know? Like imagine just being a Come guy on, who's you're gonna draw on me. Come on, Jeremy, you're gonna You chip away at them yeah, just yeah. Like, while they're waiting like to get never. the best hands. <laughs> I'll show him. Yeah, I'll get it. Maury with the raise here guy. after Jeremy completed. Jeremy makes the call. Maury gets a 10 to go along with his deuce. A 6 for Jeremy to go along with his 3. So Jeremy's looking pretty good here. Well, uh, his, his like Raz is a game where if you have the betting lead, you should be betting a very, very high percentage of the time, which makes it play bigger than all of the other games in the mix. So Maury draws pretty bad here, pairing that 10. Jeremy gets a nice looking all 7. Right, he's right. just going to, as Kevin said, He's just going to fire away with that board, and Maury can't do anything. And on 5th Street, the bet becomes a big bet instead of a small bet, so you have to pay 120000 to see another card, whereas on 4th Street, you only had to pay 60000 Yep. You could use... Uh, I really like um, seeing Jeremy at these South. final tables. He's uh, he's known for his big bet as, prowess. As he's he's very good say. PLO player, very good no limit <laughs> player. <laughs> But yeah. he shows up and wins a uh, limit hold'em bracelet. Yeah. No, the table was too big. I couldn't that's not see. Yours, My eyes, you know, like, I kept not Yeah, the there you go. Correctly. Say the table's too big. I come up with something good. Yeah, Jeremy's, some Jeremy and Daniel both being at this final table. It, it's interesting from a PGT perspective yeah. because <laughs> the majority of the PGT <laughs> season is no limit well hold, right? Yes. And they play all the no limit hold and stuff. But they're one of the few players who also will branch out to the other games. They'll play all the mixed game stuff. They'll get into the PLO, whereas some of the players are like straight no limit hold them, right? Or, or maybe they're no limit hold them and then they'll dabble in some PLO, but they won't go, go here into the mixed game. So, right. For the season-long leaderboard, for getting into that top He's 40, qualifying for the million-dollar PGT I'm Championship, et cetera, two, two you would figure that, you know, Daniel and Jeremy, maybe some others like, I don't know, a Nick Shulman examples, the people that are very well-rounded just have a little bit of an advantage three. given the volume that they can put in. <laughs> I, I agree. Actually and these, these series, <laughs> you, you know everyone in, in the field as a mixed game Maybe specialist. Sometimes <laughs> some people branch out and play like from, from their no limit hold'em backgrounds in these tournaments, but most of the time like it's this. just these, these mixed players. So <laughs> players like Negranu and Osmus have such a huge advantage playing all these events in terms of racking up leaderboard points. 
So Jerry Wong here with a three. Jeremy with an ace. Jerry catches a jack. Jeremy catches a three. Jerry is very, very short. So even though he caught bad here with the jack, he, great, he might just ultimately so far, try and yeah, go with this. He, he, we'll see what comes on fifth far. here. Kind of folds. Looks like he's got around 100K behind. Maybe, really well. <laughs> maybe a little bit doing? more than 100. That king is not too good. <laughs> Jeremy does catch a jack, though. Good luck. Jerry is hey, all in at this point. Draw. You've got the old... Uh, Jack. So he's got an 8-6 in the hole for Jerry. And that's a 9-4 for a Jeremy. Yep. Yeah, it could be worse. Yeah. I mean, you could have been in a lot worse shape. Yeah. So we have a Jack-8 yeah. draw versus a made Jack-9. I think the equities are, are pretty close, probably 60-40 uh, in terms of the made made Jack-9. You heard, you heard Daniel mention it there. I mean, Jerry could could have been in a lot worse shape. So. Oh, boy. That's well, dead. Jeremy, or sorry, Jerry, uh, excuse me, pairs his 8. All right, Jeremy gets a six, mm -hmm. so yeah. that's going to do it. Jeremy makes a nine low, and, and Jerry's still drawing so to a jack. Is yes, now hard. dead and eliminated right. yeah, from the tournament. I mean, or King of Spain. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's a free, you got, yeah, you yeah. got 14 card free roll. Always good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jerry Wong is going to be the first ever, player eliminated here from the oh, final yeah, table of PGT yeah, Mixed Games saying. event number three. Nice. Where? Wong takes home $47,250 in prize money. Four players remain now. What's it, Aria, Daniel? You must know. Where, where did it happen? It was in a cash game. It's happened many. I know that it happened once with Ming. On okay, so this is a true story. Ming was playing stud, right? Yeah. And he started with two ki split kings, but they were both the king of hearts. Okay? So he had split kings, but both were the king of hearts. So he was raising, betting, 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 and on the river, you know, he lost the pot. And he goes, oh, no, no, my hand, two king of hearts. It's just like he didn't know from the get-go. Right? It was like, and he didn't get the pot. They said no, because he was obviously trying to free roll, right? Yeah, yeah. right. I'm not like, going to mention the name, but I won a stud tournament at four queens. And a gentleman who had knowledge of duplicate cards mm -hmm. ran into me, but I had a full house, he had a flush. He put in like 16 raises after he was sure I had the full house. Now he's like having fun. You can't win, you can't win, you can't win. And oh. he turned the hand over, and he turns over ace high flush. He said, he had ace of clubs too. I have ace of clubs, he had ace of clubs too. I said, so you knew it all along and you played the hand down the river? Like, yeah, that's what Ming did. The only time that I really blew up, I, yeah. you know, I mean, just yeah. blew up in the cool. tournament, come Jack McLaren and come running. And then he put a rule book, you know, in the rule book that if you, the hand stays, knowing it, you, your yeah. hand is dead and you're, you're oh, out of the tunnel. Oh, you do it knowingly. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. gotcha. It's like if you catch it on the river and on all in, that's not your that's fault, yeah. right? That's but like if you started with it, I mean, it's kind of on you. Right, right. Seven cards, stud. Five and six are not big cards in stud, guys. Raising. No, this, those are tiny, small cards. <laughs> what about a three? Three is. Uh, <laughs> has potential because, uh, <laughs> because we did what? change the <laughs> game <laughs> from grass what does the three have potential for <laughs> make a so some <laughs> yeah, you make a, it's tell, stud high i'm going to tell the viewers tell the viewers what you got okay. Should I tell them? <laughs> if you want <laughs> so like, I, check. I said trees has potential i'm going to prove it there you go did you just raise me? <laughs> yes, sir. Jesus. Okay. Maury checked yeah. when he pulled the queen. <laughs> Daniel <laughs> bet when he got an eight. Maury check raised. He did Daniel's not have inside there. information. Fives, yeah. <laughs> wow, you know Fives what? Fives in the hole for Maury Escondani. <laughs> so Maury is the president of Poker Maury, Go. How many streams have you played on? Here? None. This is None here? Yeah. No, you know, I, I just don't play. No, I know. But it's like Maury doesn't so play. Do he says streaming. he doesn't play. He doesn't play these yeah. tournaments, especially yeah. with the streaming element involved. I can't find this but he very much half. is like in no, the high stakes uh, cash yeah. game scene. Like he'll be out there I playing 100, 200, 200, 400, yeah. Appalachio yeah. at Aria, yeah. playing the mixed games, you know, playing hours. some Nolan and Hold'em yeah, in Table One, guy, like all that sort of stuff. So he's he's very much within this community. I've played mixed game cash with him one time. I slept okay, actually. Did you beat him? I don't remember. <laughs> hey, that's he a good he came into the room, saw Ollie, and yeah, 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 said, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what are you guys playing? That's why not and yeah. jumped into the game. Yeah. I had that jet lag also, my excuse. 
Yeah, you got Bring those fives this time. You got oh, a lot of excuses. Look, look. Yeah, look what good. is going in the month. I had a very pretty yeah. hand. Look. 30 wow. points. <laughs> suited. He three bet me. I wasn't even going to fold. All those How about people that? look at an ace, get excited. Not against Daniel. <laughs> Octopi Poker is building your path to poker mastery. Combine modern tools with collaborative poker study. Plus, you can search all of Octopi Poker's database of live streamed poker hands get some insight into those hands all for further learning for a limited time you guys going to get access to everything that octopi poker is offering just head on over to octopipoker.ai give it a try for free for free for a limited time so if you like free knowledge either one i would check out octopipoker.ai right now you play a total of two four four two in this tournament one last night one today and then two in the last one so four and a oh, well, yeah, I meant two in this tournament. Yeah. You know what I like about forehand? It's easy to remember the cards. There's not that many. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true. Right? Where Jeremy it's like brought in with the four oh, diamonds shit. up. I can't Maury completed. Benny called. Maury, I think, had a jack. Yeah, Maury has a jack. Benny has a four. And Jeremy also folded a four. The ground who folded a ten of diamonds. Ace for Maury, ace for Benny. Maury's going to come out firing here. Yeah, there's there's no reason for, for Benny to go anywhere at this point. Even if he has a three straight or a three flush, it's still a small straight bet. You Six of diamonds for Maury, eight of hearts yes. for Benny. So if Benny was on some hearts, that's another heart added to his hand. And Maury elects to check. Oh, the, yeah, heart, door, heart draw or straight draw. The eight of hearts is a great card for, it's, it's, for Benny's it's, it's, hand. It's, it's, With Jeremy folding a four, it's less likely that Benny has a four in some sort of drawing hand at this point. Benny checks behind. Maury gets a six to pair sixes on his board. Yeah, Benny gets a deuce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to do the median. Stuff. Now we're, we're at a big bet street of 160,000. Josh's wedding. Oh, really? Yeah. Like the next day. I'll save you. Maury it's comes out a with a bet here, and Benny doesn't like that one, so into the muck his hand yeah. goes, and That's right. That's Maury takes this one down. It's a, his win. Oh, I have to leave for his win on the second. Fun he fact about win. Maury Escondani. Like he the is the player too. credited with okay. naming First. horse so the variant of poker. He told me the this story a, before we got on the stream. Yeah. So 1986, he's playing downtown at the horseshoe. So it's like... Right they, they used to play right. limit hold'em, and there was one player in the game who liked to play Omaha, and players across the street basically poached him. They started an Omaha game across the street. Maury in his game said, well, we'll just add Omaha to the hold'em. You know, we'll play like half and half. So then they got that player to come back. Then there was some other players that was like, hey, if you add Raz, if you add Stud, I'll play. Eventually, they start playing five games. Then one day, Maury has like this light bulb go off in his head. He's staring at the board, and he's like, guys, the first letters spell horse. Let's just call it horse at the horseshoe. Then there was a game where some pe some players didn't want to play Raz, so they rearranged the letters. They called it shoe. Always, when you're so you could, horse, you could play horse, you could play shoe the at the horseshoe. The horseshoe. Big card, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 1986. Morius oh, Kandani. So he's, you know, he's the one uh, to credited with that. With TJ Cloutier, right? We used yeah. to play all the time tournaments, and he had this thing where he would do this every time. He would raise yeah. and sh you know, like he'd show his hand, right? He would raise, he'd show an ace, he'd show this, okay. right? Okay. Then, all of a sudden, he'd be like, slide his hand, he goes, remember that, what was that tournament that you won in uh, Student of <laughs> Mississippi? Like, he just didn't happen to show that one, because yeah, yeah, he yeah, didn't yeah. have a good card to show. <laughs> and I was like, put, I was paying attention, I'm like, okay, that was fine, yeah. nothing. Because <laughs> he would always go, ace, yeah. you know, show ace, king, show queens, and Boy. then when he wouldn't, he'd tell a story, he's like, Jared, did you win that, you know that tournament you were yeah. in there? <laughs> Muck gently, so nobody sees. Like, he had to distract you <laughs> from the fact that he shows everyone except that one. Sure. That's good. Brilliant. Yeah. Just, just brilliant. He's not, no one ever knew. I did. <laughs> I picked it up pretty quick. Maury brings it in here with a three. Benny's next to act. He's got a five up. Completes. I think that was a queen for Daniel in the muck, a jack for Jeremy also in the muck. Reset potential. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Still playing stud here. Maury makes the call. He's all about those gets a deuce. Maury's Laser having a lot a of fun at this table. Four. It's really entertaining to watch these these this specific group of players. 
Benny bets with his 5-7 of clubs. More he makes the call. More he gets the 9 of spades. Benny gets the deuce of hearts. That was an equalizer. Check. We are we are playing stud high. No, we're not playing not Raz. We're not playing stud A. We're playing stud high. Just keep it, Ooh, keep that in mind. Right. right. Oh, sorry. And the boards are 9-3 deuce <laughs> and 5-7 deuce. <laughs> So Maury with the nine, he checked. Benny came out betting. Oh, yes, nice, Maury's board is is ahead with the high card nine versus the high card seven. So he is first to act. All right, Maury gets a six and a six as Check. well for Benny. Maury checks once again. Benny's reaching. That's 160K. That's a bet. <laughs> Check raise from Maury Escondani. With the the nice offsuit six. It's a very strange hand to to try and analyze at this point. Benny could could have some sort of draw that he wants to continue with. Benny could have a pair of fives which block the four five, which could potentially make a straight for Mori. Mori's representing some sort of two pair holding. It's at, a very, at this it's a very current interesting point street time. given the card. I mean. They share a lot of cards. They're I know. All, it's all like, kind of middle could he, cards. Have, could he have buried sixes, and now oh, he just tripped up, but I have a six on my board. Oh, right. So. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> You're not going to show that <laughs> one, Maury? Come on. <laughs> well, you know what? Back in the day, we used to. <laughs> Benny folded, and Maury took that one down. As a reminder, everyone, we currently Vegas, don't have Maury, card Lenny, graphics on the screen like because Maury Escondani, like he's a member of the production team, and like, they he's not allowed to play on a stream where the graphics why, you know? or the whole cards are exposed. Like, so well, we gotta open the store. as long yeah. as he's in, no <laughs> graphics, store, unfortunately. Right? Yeah, he's yeah, the HMFIC the for those who can, who can uh, assign acronyms. Lenny. Lenny Martin. Good friend of Maury's. Uh, Redhead? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, huh. I play it when I first Must started Lenny learning Mix. Daniel's chatty again. Every time he lost, he'd say, I'd rather be dead than red in the head. <laughs> that was Lenny. <laughs> Maury, the bring in again. Stud round. Well, because I have a not, not being raise, too kind of it obviously. to him in terms of <laughs> bring in. He's been chipping up quite nicely. He's got that deadly three again. Oh, no. Okay. I have a good hand. No. I think Maury respects game, Daniel chips. quite I, a bit. I never forget this. Even before, he even lower. He had so many chips in front of him that I swear I couldn't see, like, I could just see his eyes. I said, just bring him down. He'd, like, stack it up, 30, 60, hold him to here. Then he'd go like this. Daniel, your first game was 30, 60? No, no, no. I yeah. started playing way smaller. Yeah, that was like what 10, I thought. Like 10, 20, limit hold him in yeah. Toronto. Yeah. And then when I came to Vegas, I was playing the 20, 40 at Mirage. Mirage. Yeah, Mirage. One day, I remember, it was in Vegas. I, it was early in the morning. I had $600 to my name. I was playing 2040. And then within an hour, I have 82 bucks and I'm under the gun. And I said, screw it. I'm not going broke in this game. So I said, you know what? I got, I got nothing to do in Vegas. I went to play one to five stud. <laughs> so I won 100. I got 180. I'm like, you know what? Let's go try 612. So I won another 100. I got 286. <laughs> I said, OK, go back to 1020. I won 400. Now I'm back to 680. <laughs> right? And I win 1500. I got 2000. I've never played 4080 before. I said, but it's the day. We're going to play 4080. I ended the day with 4000. It was wow. great. Wow. That's, that's how you run at $82 to 82 That's, that's yeah. sick. Yeah. I really did. I was like, because I was thinking to myself, like, what will I do? Kind of true, probably. Like, what will, I do in what will I do in Vegas? I got nothing to do. I want to play. Yeah, I got yeah, no yeah. money. If you're broke. So I got 80 bucks. I didn't want to just be like all in on the big blind. You got to you know? stay in action. Like, yeah. You can't be out of action. Stay in action. Zero earn. There you go. Everyone listening at home. <laughs> Even Daniel Negreanu has gone broke. I'd say mo most of the best players in the world have have at one point. You know, yeah, definitely. Can it, I, can it, it, it creates, teaches you something. You yeah, know, it creates something in your mind to to make you focus, play better, study harder. You got to know what it feels like. You know, yeah. you, you got to know what it's like to be at the bottom. <laughs> I agree. Interesting pot developing here. Benny pairs his eight and has two to a flush. Negranu has ace ten five with now three diamonds. Most likely does not have two diamonds in the hole, but could have one to give him a flush draw. Benny still with the betting lead with his pair of eights showing. And Negranu with the snap call. See what develops on the river. Very large pot here with the limits being 80,000, 160,000. 
Like Radu looks like he has less than a million left in his stack, so this this could be a huge blow if he doesn't manage to win this hand. Benny fires the river. 160. It's up. How much? Oh, sorry. Back's up. And Negreanu takes a, a huge blow to his stack against the two pair, three pair of Benny. Remember, you could only play two of the pair. Best five oh, card hand. I played in Vegas. So yeah, twenty forty, I think, at Mirage. Or that was your first. Ten, ten twenty or or, or um, twenty forty. One of my first trips to Vegas was the limit game at Mirage. Like I came in probably two thousand four, just on a trip with a buddy. First time I've been to Vegas, and I didn't do good. I sit up all night and lost, like, I don't know, too much money. <laughs> Switching the game now to stud, high, low, eight or better. Negranu looks like he's got about 700K remaining in the stack, maybe 700K in change. That means he's down a million on the day, okay? So things have not started out well for real kid poker. Oh, that, that last pot against Benny yeah. where it was betting yeah, yeah. called on every was, single street. The scene was mostly dead over there. Took a lot of Daniel's chips. That game was going on. But the location of the card room at the Mirage, that will never be repeated. Yeah. <laughs> it, was it was perfect. Yeah. yeah. Right there, open kind of day. Right after the show would go yeah. out. game here? Yeah, 20. Is this what it is? Yeah. 20, 20. That was the first card room I played in, in Vegas. Yeah? For the Mirage. 2008. Landed the week before, or a couple days before the World Series started. I was going to start working for Poker News and got dropped off at the Mirage. Played I really there. I don't remember. Maybe it was Bellagio for me. I know the first time I ever came to Vegas, I stayed at the Flamingo. Okay. And then a year later, I had quit my job and moved out to Vegas to play poker professionally. Oh. It was almost exactly a year later. Yeah. I just knew after the first time in Vegas that I needed to be out here. All right, Benny's got 8, 7, 10 on his board. Jeremy's got deuce, 6, king. Yeah, Benny, Benny completed the bring-in from Osmus, and Osmus decided to come along, caught a good card on 4th. Bad card on fifth. Does he want to pay the extra 160 now from Benny? And like we've seen in the past, and I've reiterated many times, Benny does not let off the aggression. Yeah, we saw that in event number one. Benny got into the chip lead and then just stayed with the pedal to the floor pretty much the entire time, ultimately finished in second place. Yeah, Benny has over 4 million chips at this point, and he is, he is by far the chip leader. Osmus, taking over the betting lead on 6th Street, decides to check over to Benny. Does decide to check back uh, into the face of a pair of deuces for Osmus. Jeremy taking his time, thinking about what hands he can get value from, if he wants to turn twos into a bluff, if he missed on the end, if he made some sort of low that thinks that he can win at least half the pot by betting. He's taking all this into consideration, decides to check over to Benny. We'll see what Benny wants to do. Deuces. Both Deuces players miss. So Benny was on a steal. <laughs> Jeremy sniffed it out with the He did have, it looks like, probably four to, four to a flush there with two clubs in the hole. It, do, it doesn't that, that king on, Okay. The like king on fifth would have given him another <laughs> flush card. Deuces. So. What else? <laughs> Hang Hang right. Uh, the deuces uh, hold. Fair's good, right? Jeremy didn't want to turn his, his deuces right, into a bluff. <laughs> da, 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 da. Benny didn't think that he could get a fold on the on the river, just decided he was going to save the extra 160000 funny cartoon I, I never forget. The guy walked in, it was like a room was so it's small, full of smoke, you couldn't see the table. Opened up the opened up the smoky door, went in there playing poker, <laughs> and the pot grew that much. Call! He goes, deuces. Oh, I thought you were bluffing. Throw his hand away. <laughs> it was like a, <laughs> yeah. I got deuces. Throw his hand away. I thought you were bluffing. 
<laughs> I can only imagine the stuff Maury saw back in the day. I mean, he, he was here in Vegas, you know, playing in the 80s, 90s. He's been here forever. I think he helped open up the Bellagio poker room back in the day. Like, I mean, he's he's been here. He's been around with with all the old school legends. I love hearing the the old school stories. You know, the the Puggy Pearsons, the Amarillo Slims. You know, pe people like that, the old school grinders that that got to play with Doyle back in the day. You know, all all these yeah, Mo Maury, incredible Maury stories. Played a lot with Doyle. He was good friends with Doyle and, and that crowd. Of how things have changed since then. And that's also something that, you know, it really helped Maury just from the production side, the business side, you know, when you're launching High Stakes Poker, Poker After Dark, being in that community and being right. able to be like, hey, guys, like, this is this is going to be the big thing that you guys are going to eventually be stars because of this stuff on TV. So, like, let's go. Right. Yeah. Getting the Elio Lezra's, the Barry Greenstein's of the yeah. 90s to, to come and play in your private poker game for lots of like money for the world to all see the old school stud very visionary see four color decks but i think i hate it i hate it <laughs> exactly <laughs> just like i, I said it. it makes logical sense but i'm yeah. so used to it one way but exactly. it does it does you know what no it doesn't actually because some people said you know like I've when you know flash cards yeah. it's more you, you can be more like you usually see a black card or a red card okay it's 50 50 but you see a green card yeah you know it's a true I just always, I don't know, that's why I like online. And he's over there running online, Sims on that hand. <laughs> Annie up. Sure. Did you get it? Oh. I get it for you. Thank you. Well, do your thing. Give him the little card real quick. And the big, the big cards. I like to see four color deck big cards, but that would really go against what the people. Yeah, I like, hate. Like, I hate the turn big off, cards. Like, for I really also hate the big cards. I mean, yeah. Although at the at the series for the mixed I events, I understand it the in, the, in, in the mixed games. I understand it, and I will deal with it. But if when you deal me the jumbo index and hold them, I want to throw the cards. I agree. Out the window. I agree. They're, they're <laughs> what not, are we doing? They are not. <laughs> Pleasant for us, <laughs> us younger folk. Make a deal, all right. And That's like fair. you try and pe like, it's, it's also worse if you're like <laughs> yeah, you're in like the deal. five seat. All right, what and you I got want? you're already worried Six about clubs. exposing your cards, and now you got to look at these giant inch by inch. <laughs> yeah, you have to them up way higher than you would like, have. You're killing me here. <laughs> I agree. I remember last time. Bet. <laughs> all right, we'll see if Negron you can finally win a hand. He's right. been going. Oh man. The opposite direction this whole time. Benny's just gonna hit him with a raise right here. Queen Deuce 9 for Benny Glazer okay. now. 5 7 5 for Daniel. Daniel pairs that 5 on his board. So he's the first to act on the street and checks. Benny with a little bit of a smile. It looked like Benny had just called the bring in from Negranu. Oh, rolled up. Jeez. On 3rd Street. And then <clears throat> when he checked over to Negranu, Negranu bets. Nagani looks like he's got less than two big bets remaining. Two, yeah, he is, yeah, he's got he's 260 back. Not in a good spot at this point. If he wants to continue in this hand, Benny could ask for the rest of his stack. Be it. 160. You raised me? Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, I'm dead. 260 total. You got three. All right, Nagani's going to be all in here. He puts the rest five, of his then. chips in. Two pair for Benny Glazer. Queens and deuces. Pot. Two pair for Daniel, two tens and fives. Like six well, it's not like I don't, you know, the best Neither player time. drawing to a low, <laughs> like so. I had the best hand any time. Negranu's going to need to well, I had the best hand. make a full right, house. Five. Down and dirty, squeeze it out. Mm -hmm. Whatever, I don't care. Up to. Yeah, you if Negranu looks at a four across clean, diamond, he's golden. That's okay. what we want to see, a four across so it is diamond. Two across, and it's a heart. Two across oh, hearts, 50 -50. a good one. 50-50, all right. 50-50 to remain in the tournament. Wrong one. Ah. Wrong one. <laughs> Four of hearts Almost is there. not yeah. the right, card guys. Daniel yeah. needed, yeah. so we are going to lose mm. Daniel Legrand in fourth there. place. Uh, $63,000 in prize money for him. Were you, were you gonna, no, I wouldn't have defended. You wouldn't have defended it. No, you would have oh just won. Wow. I didn't know it was eight. You better. screwed me because you don't know no, what you're doing. I was putting his chips <laughs> in. You're like, whatever. I didn't see it. Maury screwed me because yeah. he doesn't know what game he's playing. Those old guys. Get some sleep. This is nine ten. I would have hit. Get some sleep, man. Maury, Maury, that was a <laughs> Maury, that was a third hand of stud eight or better. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm saying. Telling you. He's just I'm folding an ace. No, I believe you, but you said that you. you didn't that was, see his change. I was wondering if you played the. That was completely my fault. You might have played the wrong game. Not one. Oh, for oh, that's, uh, that's good news for me. Yeah. I 
All right, down to three-handed now. Event number three here at the PGT Mixed Game Series. We got Maury Escondani, we got Benny Glazer, and we have Jeremy Osmond. Five hundred thousand and million. Double it. Double the stakes. Benny Glazer started today with the chip lead. Okay. Atop the final five players, we lost I'm Jerry Wong that. first. Older, we mean, just lost Daniel Negreanu. No Benny Glazer is still sleep. the current oh, chip leader. A lot more than it used to. Still doing well. Weird. Like six o'clock, I wake up. Doesn't matter if I'm. I know. No, that just happens. It's, it really does. It's always affected me a lot. Oh really? Yeah. When I was younger, it didn't bother me, but now it's. And every time there's a stream table, you're tired. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of like the way it I've, is. I've been sleeping pretty badly the last four days I've been here. It is a lot easier to get better sleep when you live where you're playing poker. For people yeah, like yeah, Benny who have to travel over here yeah, like can't get to different sleep. time zones, rent an Airbnb, sleep in a, a bed that you're not used to, must take a, a much larger toll. Yeah, I mean, humans are creatures of habit, and that, that includes very much you know your sleep schedule, your sleep patterns. Sure. Even even the the bed you sleep in, as you mentioned, you know. Yeah, I, I always sleep well. I'm I'm well. You live a here. Very good sleeper. <laughs> Does it no, no matter where you are. No ma well, okay. I don't really travel too much, so whenever I'm at my own house, I sleep very well. I don't. People all you know. My wife is like, oh, I'll just sleep. I'm like, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't ever know. I feel, I feel the same 34. every day. Thirty four. Thirty four. Mm hmm. Call the floor first. <laughs> this, is not, this is not a fair fight. How old Maury you? is I'm double sorry. the age of Benny Glazer. Maury's 68. Like 34, 44, fight. and 68. <laughs> I mean, a little Getting closer, up there. A little yeah. closer to 68. <laughs> We've got a good range of ages there. Mm -hmm. Maury is a Poker mix, Hall of Famer. Not a lot of guys I would guess yeah. Benny and yeah. Jeremy get in eventually at some point. I mean, 68, huh? who knows? We, we always talk about the backlog of the players, but yeah. I mean, th they're in that backlog, like in the conversation. Both of them are, are incredibly deserving to be in the Hall of Fame. It's just, like you said, the, the list of like people that. that all deserve to be in the Hall I of Fame is these, so no. long. <clears throat> That now that you're in your 40s, yeah, yeah, yeah. some people might just get <laughs> snubbed, unfortunately. I was still stealing that. <laughs> One day I hope to finally did the even be a glimmer of hope on that now. list. No, no, not, to, not to expect to get in, just a glimmer of hope on the list of, well, maybe. Maybe I'll, I'll have a in chance. In the conversation. Yeah, you know, in the your conversation. Your name gets thrown out there. You know, yeah, of course. Looks like Benny Glazer has right around $4 million or so in chips. He still playing study for, here. for these two final tables that we've seen him and Daniel. He's had Daniel's number. Yeah, of course. He has has what made a lot of chips card? from Daniel. That was an up card. No, it, it, no, it was supposed to be my down card, but now okay, so it's now my up card. Up, up, down. Yeah. Um, up there. Up. So up to him. Up. Slight yeah. little misstep up, up, here from down. the dealer. Okay. Jeremy's second. Down card got exposed, so that card, the six of hearts, will become his up card. Then he'll get a down card. So the reasoning behind that is actually very logical. Your three cards that you get dealt remain the same. It's just the one that Since is exposed to other players yep. yeah. is different. Uh, you quit, you quit stealing just had those just spots. <laughs> had him so dead. I was thinking the same. Yeah. <laughs> Maury picks that one up there. These final three players are guaranteed $88,200. They came from a field of 63 entries. This is the third event of the PGT Mixed Games Series. Benny Glazer is looking to, he's looking to get second place because that will guarantee that he's at least in a tie for yeah. first place on the series leaderboard. That series leaderboard is important for two reasons. One, you become the series champion. All of the PGT series that we do here at the Poker Go Studio, you accumulate points over the course of the whole series. Whoever accumulates the most points is the series champion. That also comes with a bonus for this series. It's a $10,000 PGT Passport bonus. That's essentially $10,000 in cash. It, you know, the PGT Passport is PGT buy-in. So anytime you play other PGT really? events, you can just put those in there. So 
little bit of a sweetener on top, of, you know, in addition to all the money you, you win from the tournaments. Yeah, why, why not go for it, especially if you're as, as good a player as Benny Glazer? I mean, he, I assume he was going to play all these events anyways. Right now, he's he's guaranteed to be in at least second so place a single big in the leaderboard I have this, after the three events. Game, there's that. 10 events total, right? 10 events total, yes. So it's so a pretty the, good spot to be in. Yeah, right now, this is the first of several $10,000 buy-in events. Uh, event number nine, that is the quote-unquote championship event, a $25,000 buy-in 10-game championship. And then the final event, event number 10, is a single-day $5,000 buy-in. No limit, deuce to seven, single draw. Yeah, they, they made that uh, the final the final one a 5K because there's a lot of re-entries in, in a single draw tournament. We are playing Limit Hold'em now, so game change. Five games in this rotation, playing horse. So Hold'em, Omaha High-Low, Raz, Stud, and Stud High-Low. Maury comes in with the raise. Jeremy makes the call. Yeah, too much. What? This is in the pocket. I'm the type of player I like the most amount of big chips in my stack. I don't like fumbling around with with 12 chips per bet. Mm -hmm. okay. Jeremy checks. Mori continues here. Favorable flop for a pre-flop raiser in position. Jeremy makes the call. Yeah, Mori's going to bet most of his his range on on the vast majority of flops. Seeing a call from Jeremy is a little little scary if you're if you're sitting in Maury's hand it does quickly go check check on the turn once again Jeremy taking a little bit of time to decide if he wants to bet on the river yeah. either get some some thin value or just check it down to try and get the show I got it I got it hmm? beats Kings Come on. A7 for, for Jeremy Osmond, top two up. pair. So Jeremy there likely looking to get a check raise in on the end. Yeah, we've seen Jeremy with his pair of deuces in, in stud eight check on the river to try and get to showdown against Benny. And in this scenario, his, his intention was to check on the river and then raise after Mori went for a bet, either for value or as a bluff. So we've seen some balance from, from Jeremy when did yours finish? in this spot. That's like almost four hours. Four so hours? Like that, yeah. I Which think is Jeremy is up into the quite, chip lead with that pot, if not right we there with Benny Glazer. I think Jeremy's approaching yeah. about four million. Yeah, He's probably got 3.8 or so, 3.9 in his stack. Don't they don't play but still, I think all, all three players are, are pretty healthy overall, given no, where they're No one's really in the danger zone yet. Limit Hold'em does does play pretty big considering it's a single winner game. So we, okay, we could cool. see some stacks shifting. Thank you. Okay. Maury checking the queen eight six flop. Benny comes with the bet yeah. and Maury's coming with a check raise. I like how Maury's been playing. We, we haven't ha had the chance to see his whole cards too often, but he's not shying away from playing against these professionals. These are some of the, the best players in the game that he's playing against and he's he's holding his own pretty well. Benny originally started this hand raising under the gun. Maury defended from the big blind. Maury check raises on the flop. Benny makes the call. We are going to a turn. Pairs the board with an eight. That's Maury's going to continue here. That card definitely favoring the, the big blind range. Benny thinking if he wants to Make the call, maybe make a raise. Does decide to raise, and Maury lets it go. Well played hand from Benny. Maury could have a, a number of, of bluffs, a number of draws in that spot. Maybe he was raising with bottom pair uh, as, a, as a blocker to two pair from Benny. And Benny, putting on the aggression on the turn, ends up winning the pot from Maury.
So we can we can establish that Benny and Jeremy are the the two uh, chip leaders at this table, and Maury is is in third place. Yeah, I think I was just trying to eye Benny's stack there. It looks about 4.2, 4.3 million. I think Jeremy's maybe topping out at four, maybe a little bit less, and then Maury's bringing up the rear in terms of the chip counts. Yeah, Maury's got the 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 David Bach. 30 high, 40 high stacks that you really can't can't count properly. We need to color him up. Get get him some uh, some bumblebee chips. You saw us eating, right? <laughs> yeah, it does. I, mean, I was just thinking. Like, look at this. I mean, it, it, uh, it three handed hole seems is like so it much bigger than the uh, three handed stud. It's not it even. Seems taller. like it shouldn't, but three handed stud. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh. That's a good point. Yeah, Holden plays. I mean, I think Raz one winner game. Queen ten four here, two spades. Mori first to act. Yeah, He's no, facing no. Jeremy Osmus in this hand. He comes out with the bet. Yeah, I think Jeremy opened the button. Mori three bet from the small blind. Jeremy called, and with the betting lead, the last aggressive action, Mori fires out on the flop. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Nice Jeremy wow. lets it go. That's a. It's a big, big favorite over aces, right? Yes. I'd say yeah. so. King ten of spades, pretty good flop. Very good <laughs> with that hand. Here in the flush throw. And Jeremy just finds the folds for one small bet after putting in. Quite a bit pre-flop. Saving a bunch of chips against a very powerful pair and flush draw holding from Mori. Just limp. It's a new strategy I was thinking about last night. This man, do we mind that? If I'm gonna do a lot of limping on the other A guy you played with yesterday? No, sure. this man right here was played with him yesterday. Playing limping and hold him? Limp him on the button. Every time I raise, he re-raises, so I'm going to take that play away from him. <laughs> Maury limped yeah. the button, which you don't okay. see much at all on hold him. <laughs> what are you doing? Hold him. I just the, the best part about this is the speech <laughs> play. He's trying to deter <laughs> the two players out of position from raising him by saying that he would he would start limping a wide, arrange, a, a wide array of hands. So Maury, Maury limped the button. Benny Glazer called from the small blind. Jeremy raised in the big blind. Call, call. Three ways to the flop. Ace, jack, eight. Two clubs here. Benny checks, and Jeremy's going to continue as the aggressor. He bets. Maury makes the call. Maury could have anything. He could He could have anything. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of, a lot I mean, he of could, he could straight have a, draws. He could have, a, like, a medium ace. He could have flush draw straight draws. He could have a jack, you know. Benny gets out of the way. Action on Jeremy now. That card doesn't doesn't really change anything. Jeremy checks. Maury fires a bet. Jeremy could have a hands like queen, a hand like kings or queens that didn't want to get raised on this turn card. So the, went with the check call line to limit the amount of exposure he has into this pot. That's a scary card for almost anything that. Jeremy has in this spot a lot of flates, straights, and flushes they get there on the river. Oh, maybe Maury had a hand like nine ten. I mean, I feel like that's the only hand that makes any sense. I, I, I don't, I don't really <laughs> see anything else. I mean, there's, there's no. I mean, he can't have queen ten, obviously, right? right? Queen, he can't have make the nut straight. Jeremy had a, had a hand exactly as he was representing on the turn with the, the queen jack, not really wanting to bet and get raised by an ace, kind of just wanting to, to take it to showdown. Well played hand from Jeremy. Still digging away in whatever dish he, he decided to bring with him. Benny raising here on the button. Jeremy folding the small blind and Maury coming along from the big blind. Check. 
987. Mori could find some leads in this spot. It's more likely he finds leads uh, at a more full table, but three-handed, the ranges between the button and the big blind are much more, much closer. After Benny checks on the flop, Mori leads out on the turn. Maybe there's a little bit of a live tell there. There was a, a little hesitation, a little pause from Mori on the flop before he checked, maybe giving away the strength of his hand to Benny who checked back and then immediately folded the turn facing a bet. Just little things that, that Benny would 100% pick up on. Yeah. Once again, Benny's in the same seat he was at the, yes, the last final table. And Negreanu was in the same seat he was at the last final table. Right. The last two final tables, Negreanu's been in the same seat. Osmus gave up the button here. Mori Eskandani raised from the small blind. Benny makes the call. Heads up to the flop here. King 10-5 rainbow. Okay. Mori comes with a bet. Benny's in there, making the call. Five of hearts, pairs the board on the turn. Maury slows down with the check. Benny could have a lot of a lot of floats in his range. A lot of hands that have like a like a backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw type of holding, trying to take a take away the pot on the turn, decides to check back, which shows that he has some sort of showdown value that he wants to get to the river with. Maybe Benny has a, a hand like pocket threes, pocket fours, that can't really get called by worse or get better to fold. So let's take the passive line to try and get to the river. Maury comes out with a bet here on the river. The board is King 10, 5, 5, 8. And Benny's going to make the call. I think Benny might have a hand like ace high. Maury had a king. Maury did king, queen. flop top pair and checked on the turn to try and induce Benny to bluff at the pot. And then go and break or level up? Uh, if you go and break, it's the break. We're not following that break. Okay. Because I got a resource. So you heard the tournament staff there say they're going to play one hand and then go on break, but we're not actually going to go on break on the stream. Power of technology, we're going to fast forward because we are on a dynamic delay. And we'll be back before you guys know it. So we're going to play this hand of Hold'em. Maury gives up his button. Benny Glazer gives up the small blind. Walk for Jeremy Osmus. Break. I don't particularly enjoy playing there. Like. They switched the venue from last year. Last year there you see the chip counts here. Three-handed yeah. PGT Mixed Games like event nice number two, $10,000 yeah, like buy-in horse tournament. Jeremy Osmus like, currently up on no top. Benny Glazer there, in second. Morius Kandani yeah. rounding out the pack in third place. Like Still very much so, anyone's game. Yeah, some of the we are switching over to Omaha Eight or better. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, I think the limits now are only uh, one hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. Yes. Mostly there, yeah. yeah. So general, everyone has like at least nice, ten bets like, in know, front of them, which is plenty to there. to navigate yeah, the rest of this final fun, table. But, yeah. Split pot game right now. Mostly not. Benny gives up his button to start. Jeremy raises out of the small blind. I like Maury's stack is, is much easier to count this yeah, time. Yeah, we call it it up now. We're good to go. Maury makes the call off to the flop. Queen, 10, 4, two clubs. Jeremy comes with the bet. Maury makes the call. Turn, seven of spades. So queen 10-4 with two clubs on the flop, turn seven of spades. Jeremy Osmus is first act, he checks. 
Okay. Moria Skandani checks behind. Five of clubs comes in on the river. Possibility of a low is there. Yeah, I expect neither of these players to have have anything remotely premium at this spot. They're kind of calling down to get half the pot with a, an okay low and an okay high. Ace, nine, eight, Hell deuce yeah. for Mori. Oh, he called on the flop with, with Jack some four, backdoor three, three draws. For Osmus. Osmus had the flush draw, makes Isn't the flush on the river. Mori gets there That's with the ace, deuce, making low. the nut low on the river. No pair, nowhere. Interestingly enough, Mori turned one of the best cards in the deck for him. Yeah, it gives him, him open-ended open and the low drop. Surprised he didn't bet in position. I agree. No, 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 you no, could you no, could no, deny no, a lot no, of no. equity from Jeremy. No, no. Obviously, Jeremy's not going anywhere with his flush draw. That, that was and a relatively tough I rolled, uh, he didn't have a low draw because he made a pair of fours on the flop. So Jeremy just had a pair of fours with a flush draw on the turn. But yeah, the, and Mori let him see a free river card. Yeah, I mean, it feels a little nitty for Mori. Just a little bit. I, I, <laughs> I think, I think you could you could have put in a raise on uh, a raise pre-flop. Yeah. Not definitely not a raise on the flop, but a bet on the turn for sure, picking up so much equity. I'll get you guys in the stud. studs. Studs. Plural. Studs. Studs. <clears throat> I don't know. That's my game today. I think. For those wondering so why we don't have any card game. graphics, yeah, as a reminder. <clears throat> Because Mori Eskandani has reached the final table, we cannot have card graphics. He is a member of the production team. He has special access that prevents us from showing the whole cards if he does make a live stream final table. If Mori does happen to bust, we'll get the team to put the graphics back up. No limping? No, no. Hold them. Hold them. Those are the rules. We got to play by them. Omaha's. Positions, it's nice to see Mori at the final table. Yeah, of he's, course. He's of course. holding his own against these very professional poker players. Mori raised the button here. Jeremy Osmus yeah. defended from the big blind. Nine, three, deuce, rainbow. Osmus yeah. checks. Mori comes with the bet. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Oh. Osmus makes the call. Four on the turn. Okay. Possibility of a check. low is out there now. Check, check here. Seven on the river. Rangers are so wide in this spot. It's it's really hard to determine what anyone has at this point, uh, especially after the turn goes check, check. Both players could have one pair, two pair type holdings. They could have any any number of low draws or made lows or single card lows at this point with the two, three, four, seven on the board. Jeremy bets, and it looks like he takes it down without any... Any pushback from Mori? Yeah, quick fold there from Mori. Mori is the short stack and gets a little bit shorter. Looks like he's got probably about 1.8 million 100, 000, left. 200,000 limit. Are you guys nuts? And that's more than a more than a starting. The stack. other day we got to a million big we bet, man. We did to a million. Like yesterday we finished at 600,000? No, like, yeah, right. I think it was 600,000 yesterday. Yeah, 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 we were getting up there, yeah. $100,000, 200000 no, they're not. The pot's $7 million. Yeah. <laughs> in, in the 5K horse, we got up to 500K, 1 million limits. Yeah. See, Benny knows. He was there. Sick brag? Yeah. Impressive limit. Yeah. This is the final three from a 63 entry field in event number three of the PGT Mixed Games series. This live stream brought to you by our partners at eatmezcla.com, home of Mezcla Bars. You guys can find out more about the Puff Crispy Bars with, I think they have 10 grams of protein in every single one. Over at eatmezcla.com, use promo code POKERGO for 20% off your first order. I still owe you some, Kevin. They, they still have yes, yet sir. to re they, they have yet to re-up us. If anyone from Mezcla is out there listening, we need the re-up, okay? Ooh. We need boxes delivered. Everyone here eats them. They eat all of them. <laughs> I'm not joking. They, yeah. they're, they're here for like a day, and then they're gone. There was a number of snacks on the on the snack table, but no the Mezcla, Mezcla bars, bars snap in it sight. Because they are actually very good. Like.
Jeremy versus Benny look like. Jeremy bet the button after raising preflop, and Benny raises out of the big blind. Jeremy makes the call. Turn pairs the board with another deuce, nine, four, deuce, deuce with two clubs. Benny could have a number of flush draws, a number of over pair type hands, jacks, tens, queens. Could have ace three for the nut low draw. This card is very scary. Uh, being not the last aggressor in the, in the pot. Jeremy is more likely to have ace-deuce combinations. Check, check on the turn, as we've seen a lot uh, in this orbit of Omaha 8 or better. Yeah. Benny's betting now, representing a good made low with the six, bringing the low draw on the river. Jeremy does not have a deuce. I think we can Three. suss that out, but he does come with a race. He could have a hand like pockets, pocket sixes. Ace, three, five. I haven't had two fives. Last hand. Wow, ace, three, five. He, he flopped five. the wheel wrap. Five, five. Any card between ace and eight. That doesn't pair the two or the four gives him a, the nut low. And if it's any of uh, ace, three, s five, or six, he makes a straight along with it. That's a really interesting line that Jeremy took. He just called the raise from Benny with basically the exact hand that you want on that flop on the 9 4 deuce flop, and you block the ace high flush draw. Check, check on the turn when the board pairs, yeah. which is really interesting to me because I don't think Benny would check many deuces in that spot. And we still have so much equity with our with our holding. And then on the river, the we did get Benny to bet into us canary. and found the raise with our nut low and straight. The man that's rushing like crazy. With that pot, it looks like Jeremy also has hit five million in chips. He is the current chip leader ahead of Benny Glazer in second and Maurice Kandani in third. Escondani and Osmus are the ones in this hand on the Jack 8 8 flop. Osmus checks. Check. Escondani checks. Four on the turn. Brings a second heart to the board. Brings a low draw as well. All right. Check. Check, check once again. Nine of clubs on the river. There will be no low on this hand. With 450,000 chips in the middle, Jeremy decides he just wants to get to showdown. I do see some hand. King 964 for Jeremy. Badooga. Maury's playing the 763 deuce. But that's not going to be anything. You want to play Badooga instead? So Jeremy's two pair here. The nines and eights with the king kicker is going to take it down. The rich get richer. His chip lead increases. It's a sick three hand again. That today, today's eight game. Yeah. But the the twenty five k is ten game. Yeah. Twenty five k is ten games. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Well, how you do, buddy? Nice. I get three buttons in this game. Yeah, playing seven hands of each. One person will get the button three times, being a three handed table. I think I'd rather be in Maury's shoes. He got three buttons for limit holdem. Much more powerful. Jack four three here. Escondani checks. Glazer bets. Escondani's out of the way. I think Maury's down to about one point four million ish, give or take a little bit, but he is the short stack. Yeah, Benny in the middle, about three million in chips. And Jeremy's still up there around five, so. Switching it up, we are now playing Raz. The game that plays the biggest out of all five games in the mix. So still anyone's game at this point. Mori not really in, in too much danger yet. He loses two pots and he's out though. 
So let's see how, if he's able to navigate. Jack of Hearts, bring in. Osmond's going to have to bring in here with the Jack of Hearts. Maury's got a six. Glazer's got a four. Maury completed. Benny called. Six is our new. Eight of spades is there. Maury pairs is six. Benny's got an eight. He comes out leading as he should. And <laughs> I pad I pad my hay as well. But... <clears throat> and Benny once again, power of regression. Both players did seem to have three cards. Eight or lower. So it was a fair fight to start. Mori just gave it up Chris when he is. made open pair of sixes. Yeah, Amy's yep. 25. All right. Yep. Just one of each. Yeah. Yeah, one of each. Chocolate chips are here. Are you here? Surely you've tried it. <laughs> Do you have chocolate chip action? <laughs> action. Might not be any left. It's possible. Maury is referencing his wife Kathy's cookies. Have you had the cookies? Uh, I, I can't say that I have. Four. We're going to have to go get some cookies. Four. All right. <laughs> Kathy, I, I have had Kathy Norman is, Chad's wife's baking. Kathy is a saint. She's baking, baking, baking all the time for us here. Maury comes walking in today. He's got a big box of her cookies. Oh, I'm, I'm in. Some of the players that were here before you had, had gotten here were like, oh, are those Kathy's cookies? Are those Kathy's cookies? Just swore <laughs> Maury. All right. I think, I'm, I think I'm in. I'm yesterday sold. or the day before was blueberry muffins. I mean, it's just it's always baked goods. It's amazing. She's incredible. Sounds delicious. I made breakfast this morning. Uh, my girlfriend and I found out that we both like making scrambles. Okay. So we do potatoes with onions and green peppers. You make the potatoes extra crispy. No, which I love calories, crispy potatoes. No way. Yes, Same. It is. And then you add in no, some really. sort of meats. I'm Today we did ground turkey. Wow. And then you add in eggs and a little bit of cheese, very, very, and you're very, good I mean, to go. It's hard to it's so thin. Yeah. Maury is claiming that these cookies are 60 calories per cookie. There is no, no way. way. <laughs> no shot. I know that they're thin, Maury, but come on. 60 <laughs> calories? Get out of here. More like 260. <laughs> He's crazy. No, please. Maury, a little Finally. on the short side, <laughs> does manage to take one away. <laughs> Shows his queen in the hole. Probably still the best hand at this deal. point. He had something. I have the King Jack 10, so. Definitely the best hand. You're, yep. you're almost in the lead. <laughs> With the 5 <laughs> For those of you tuning in on the Poker Go YouTube channel, appreciate you all. Let us know where you're watching from in the chat. Throw us a like on the video, please. Hit that thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to the Poker Go channel. For those watching on PokerGo.com, thank you very, very much. We're trying to narrow down our WSOP streaming schedule, so be on the lookout for that. Not sure, not sure when it'll exactly drop from us, but you do know that we are trying to put the puzzle pieces together of how it all fits together, so we can try and bring you some more of our industry-leading coverage during the summer. Maybe they'll get to hear my voice. Yeah, maybe. You're gonna play the Winmigan stuff. I'm in. You're. I'll. Oh, I'll vote that. for you. I appreciate I'll put it. the good word in. It's like it's our spring break. Our kids' spring break. We're just oh, nice. taking a small trip. Nice. Um, None of that. Still playing Raz. So Another bring like in for Jeremy at this point. Ten K, like you said yesterday. Yeah, yeah. There's some left. Mori on a tear. Completing the last three hands. I only looked up one good card. Benny w wagging the I finger. The one bad card. <laughs> No, no, no. Benny's aggression there shuts down Morius Kandani's attempt to pull on that pot. You're, you're Mori that falls. Time. I mean, this goes this spans back over a little more. Right? I think so. Yeah. So maybe there's not the high rollers. 
Right, there's okay. the last flight of the main I'll play, and then I think probably the two or three 10Ks I'll play as well, but not yeah. sure yet. Well, do you play PLO? I guess you do. Yeah. You play out the game, yeah. Yeah. I have a club to spring in. Ooh. Oh, I love, I love good Raz boards where everyone has a good low card up. It's anybody's game. Yeah, Mori forced to bring in with the five of clubs. Benny Glazer completes with an ace. That gets it done. Yeah. Also had Kilo the four up he folded. It was good. Yeah. Or Eskenani also folded. Sure. Yeah. Tournaments are really good over there. Yeah. I'm not sure why. It's, it's crazy. It's kind of wild. We're talking about how alive poker is, and they're be. very right. I, I love... I love how good the poker tournament scene is. In I think they're specifically society. talking about the the win, the win millions, <laughs> the win millions, um, yes, which has so good. It ha has the main event coming up, thirty five hundred dollar buy in. Um, believe it's three million dollar guarantee, and then they have a handful of high rollers in there. I think they have a couple ten ks. A ten k PLO is among those. Jeremy referenced those to Benny Glazer. The win is really. In these recent, you know, one to two years, maybe three years, put it put itself on the map as like the, the premier yes. place to play for large field MTTs. Okay. Yeah, being the the new host of the WPT uh, over Bellagio is, is so good for the poker community. They they do tournaments very well over there for people like us who uh, these these ten Ks just yeah. a little little too. A little too rich. A little too yeah, rich. A little too rich. Switching the game up now to seven card stud. We are three handed here. Event number three of the PGT mixed games series. These three players guaranteed $88,000. There's more than $201,000 up top for the winner. Event number four, ten thousand dollar eight game tournament that kicked board, off yeah. at noon today. Across the hall in the main studio room. If you guys want to follow live coverage of that event, you can do so over at pgt.com. And then the plan is to live stream that final table tomorrow. Same bad time, same bad channel. We'll be right back here. We'll be on Poker Go. We'll be on the Poker Go YouTube I mean, channel starting at one PM. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Maury's got an ace four. Benny's got a ten five. Benny's hand or up cards are suited. Maury pairs his ace. Benny gets a four. Yeah, Jeremy brought in with a three. Maury completed. Benny raised. Maury called and now pairing his ace. Putting Benny in a very tough spot here. Has to give it up. Much needed pot for Maury. Oh yes. Looked like you only had two or three bets left. Might not even have had enough to make it all the way down to 7th Street. You know what would be fun? It's just a random thought. We should have a guitar off at the final table. I know Benny and Jeremy <laughs> both play the guitar yeah. well. Yeah. I want to see who who's better. Someone bring it, bring in a guitar. And we'll I'm in. We'll have a little competition in the triangle room. Bring in to twenty five. Bring in twenty five. Just kidding. Maury brought it in. Benny completed with the ace and took it down. Benny Glazer began playing guitar when he was six years old. I, don't, I can't remember doing anything since I was six years old. I was for sure playing soccer. Other than that, nothing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to do something for the last 30 years of your life. Complete. Jeremy with the bring in. Queen up for Maury, completing. Benny with the... Eight of hearts up, thinking about it. 
Let's it go. And Maury takes your it down. Card, and I had your up card. <laughs> you can you can tell Maury is is very Good much blockers. inside information. Like a mm -hmm. inside information. An experienced live cash player. Like yes. like the way he's talking, showing cards, you know, the banter, the quips, all that sort of stuff. Like you, you can tell he certainly comes from from that school of poker. Also, of course, you know, leaning a little bit more old old school where people's personalities tend to show the colorfulness at the table. And that's both, the best both. part about mixed games compared to No Limit Hold'em too. You really get to show yeah. your personality at the table where it's yeah. not just sunglasses and hoodies. Still playing stud high here. Benny brings it in with the lowest card being the eight of hearts. Jeremy completes with the queen. Oh. Benny calls off to fourth street. Benny with about two and a half million in chips. Jeremy still our chip leader. Check. Benny took over the betting lead on fourth. Check, check. Pair of threes new for Jeremy. Does give him the betting lead back. I expect to see a bet here more often than not. Benny has one over to the queen, and a, being a king, and an 8-9. See what he decides to do. Raise. Does decide to raise. So maybe Benny paired his king, or maybe he has some sort of combo draw like the, the jack-10 of clubs. Maybe he has two pair, kings up, kings and eights. Jeremy decides to call. We're playing a, a very large pot, a very meaningful pot, with Maury being the shortest Nines stack at the table. Nines are high. Benny pairing his nines, which is a very welcome sight for him. Not so much for Jeremy at this point. Jeremy finds a 10. Seems to be a pretty, pretty bricky card after the action went bet raise on the previous street. Does make the call. Pair nine. Very interesting spot here. <clears throat> Benny is representing a hand like like kings and nines. Jeremy after checking back on fourth street with the Queen Trey. Probably doesn't have a pair of queens, but very quickly after being checked to on 7th Street, decides to come with a bet. And now we're back on Benny. Jeremy is saying, I can beat two pair. Might take a little bit of time to run through in Benny's head. All the action that has transpired on the previous streets of this hand. The check back on 4th Street being the most interesting part of the hand for sure. Time extension used. Don't often see that in these limit games. Players generally playing pretty fast, but this one certainly worth thinking about for Glazer. It's a really big pot. I mean, he's he's definitely getting 10 to 1 on his money to call. Is Jeremy bluffing? You know, 10% of the time at this point. Does decide to make the call. Trips announced. Osmus shows another 3 from the hole. Wow. So, Osmus probably made trips on the end, calling with the strength of the ace king queen. And the pair of threes to try and make a pair of aces and threes, kings and threes, or queens and threes does no, find one of the two remaining moment. threes in we the deck. Can't be him in Omaha. We can't beat him in a stud. He said stud was his game. I mean, Ra Raz, you guys really beat me. That <laughs> last ra the last round, I didn't. Win. I was bringing a lot. And didn't win again. <laughs> <laughs> I lost like those six or seven hands. I mean, you, ju you just sat out of the Raz round. It's not I, I like did. you just. But I did lose them. Jeremy Osmus did 
I didn't post on it. Twitter slash X Annie's earlier today. He said, "Come watch me botch some seven card poker today on Poker Go." <laughs> I think I think the first comment on that tweet Pretty was was my favorite though. What's that? Who commented? You. <laughs> it was me. I'll take this as an invitation to laugh and or point from the commentary booth when said botching occurs. Was that a botch? And no. Then he, got, that, he got there. I think he played it perfectly. <laughs> He, he made a pair of threes, he bet, Benny raised, and he had all the cards in the deck to make a higher two pair than what Benny was representing and just found the perfect three on 7th there? Street. No. Better lucky than good. good? Only when I'm playing. Oh, really? I ruined enough shows. <laughs> I took us back before the whole card. Yeah, back to the old. 1983. Same thing. Jeremy but might have almost six million in chips at this point. It looks it looks <laughs> like he has he has a very commanding chip lead. Oh yeah, it's much better production. C CBS show than Ted Couple show. Late night. More you gonna bring it here. Bring it in here with a three and eight for Benny Glazer. He's out of the way. Awesome is probably gonna try and steal here no matter what he has with the king, and that is it. The high card king is so powerful with his with his current chip stack. No. They thought they were going to come over. Maury looks to have about like 1.7 million in chips. You know, like Benny has maybe 2.2 million in chips. And Jeremy has the rest of them. <laughs> uh, really? Did you have something to do with the, no. the free hole? No. I, I, I had absolutely nothing to do with any anything until we put the whole cards together. 1995. 95? Yeah. That was actually, people don't know that. First time whole cards. That was at the World Series. The whole card table was still in my storage. Oh, them. nice. That's the World Series? No. We just put it together like I convinced guys to show their whole cards. Mm -hmm. You know, Chip and Doyle, TJ Cloutier that he was talking about, Phil Ivey. Imagine convincing Phil Ivey to show his whole cards. He doesn't want to show his whole cards now. I remember watching, this was later on than what Maury's talking about, <clears throat> but kind of a, you know, a similar sort of thing. Covered, U.S. So you know. I remember Poker um, Championship Seidel, was it? One out of, of Atlantic City. I remember Seidel and, and Eric Seidel was running deep, but Eric Seidel, and, 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 and they made cards. a point of it on the broadcast, oh, yeah. didn't like want to show his whole cards. He was like, I'm not showing them. Right. I'm not For doing sure. it. So he wouldn't show his whole cards. Does he? I don't know. Yeah, because back then it wasn't RFID. There was a little camera on the side of the table, and if you just move your hands. And it wasn't like it hasn't become what it has today, where it's just accepted. In so many tournaments, like whether it's the final table or maybe it's a feature table on an earlier day, maybe. Maybe you're playing a live stream cash game, whatever it may be. Like you just, you know, you know it's safe. There's also like back then it was like, well, I don't want to let people know how I play. Like I don't want, I don't want. Exactly want now it's like, okay, like you're, you're 1995 yeah, Phil Ivy. You're the best in the world. Yeah. Why would you want to give away all this free information? Of course. Or getting Tom Dwan to show his his whole cards on high stakes poker. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> we have a producer that. That's impressive. Poker. He said, uh, watching the whole cards, because, you know, like a lot of our producers, obviously watching the games, you know, formatting them, watching the day and night. Why is it that they are not just in here, like, <clears throat> breaking it in and being, you know what I'm saying, like, winning a lot of money? He says, it's like watching a maze from up above. You see how they got out. <laughs> when they drop you in there, you're still lost. You don't know how to get out. That's a good, that's a nice yeah. analogy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Pretty true. It I looks really easy like when that. They're doing it kind yeah. Of, yeah. Of course, it's easy when you can see the whole cards. Okay, this is how. Yeah, yeah. it's easy for us now when you see the whole it. cards normally yeah. here in the, in the commentary right. booth. Right. And then you get or, out there, you start or, you playing, know, and you're like, or, you know, whatever. He just threw at me. What? What am I supposed to do? What's happening? Yeah. Exactly. What's going on? Sitting in. Similar to being as a dealer as well. Yeah. Like you know. We More haven't seen for Osmus. many action, uh, many action boards in stud eight so far. It has just but been complete and taken. Your whole cards, are, they can follow. There's some some dealers came out to be great players. I think Johnny Chan was a dealer. Yeah. Madison was a dealer, right? Madison was a dealer. Yeah. I have an extra Annie in there. Is that that's uh, not mine? Is it mine? No. I won the last pot. Maybe it is. <laughs> Greedy over there. <laughs> I mean, it's ways over there. It's probably not, but I don't know. Johnny Chan was a dealer. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think he was. Just a speech, right? Just for a short time, you know, like people come in. Sorry. <coughs> Deuce of spades, bring in. 
Ace complete from Glazer. Jeremy debating what to do with his queen. Decides to just call. Jeremy could put on put on a lot of pressure to Benny stack at this at this current point if he wanted to. He's been taking very passive lines throughout the entirety of this final table. Definitely uh, the opposite of how Benny Glazer plays his big stack final table. Benny picked up a four and then a king. Hosman's got a three and then a deuce. So Benny still has the betting lead. Yeah, Benny did bet on 4th Street, got called by Osmus, and here we are on 5th. Benny's thinking it over. Check. Glazer checks over to Osmus. Osmus checks his cards. Check. And checks back. 9 of spades, 4 glazer, 10 of hearts, 4 osmus. Two kind of essentially blank cards. Osmus not raising on 3rd Street signifies he doesn't have a queen necessarily. Check. A 9 most likely did not help Benny representing 3 low with an ace. A 10 definitely could have helped Jeremy. Hand like queen jack 10. Queen 10 9, ace queen 10. Oh. Bet and a call. I think Benny is more likely to be drawing to low while Jeremy has some sort of made one pair high hand at this point. Benny's still with the betting lead with the ace king high. signifying he did make his, his low hand or at least a pair of aces trying to get some value from, say, a pair of tens. And now Jeremy's put to a decision if he thinks his, his high hand is good enough. Trips. Oh, Benny raised with the ace, jack, nine, and caught running nines on 6th and 7th Street, giving a little... little taste of Jeremy's own medicine back to him for the trip threes in one of the previous hands. Nice little pot there for Benny Glazer. Picks up some chips. Puts a little bit of a dent into the chip leading stack of Jeremy Osmus. Jeremy could have raised on 3rd Street. Uh, and he definitely could have bet on 5th Street. Either one of those, I'm not sure if Benny folds, but it's way more likely that Jeremy wins the pot other than the way he played it, you know, this time, running into trips. It's like limping on the button. It's the same thing, right? I did the same to Daniel. I know, I know, I know the rules. <laughs> yeah, we saw that hand earlier. That was the hand that, that Daniel busted out on. Queen's up against 10's up. Queen, King, 6 for Mori. Deuce, 9, 7 for Benny. I would have Benny's going to take this one with a bet. <laughs> That's my answer. And then... Benny letting Maury know that he had a premium stud eight holding and was not going to fold to a steal attempt. Three handed here, PGT Mix Games event number three. $10,000 buy in horse tournament. Horse stands for Hold'em, Omaha High Low, Raz, Stud, and Stud 8 or better. We are currently on the E for Stud 8 or better. Play seven hands of each game before rotating to the next game. These final three players came from a field size of 63 entries. More than $201,000 no. is awaiting no, the winner in this event. You know, one time, game? I've earned every single one. <laughs> I had to go out there, try to steal it, jump over the fence. Go under the tunnel, no, nothing ever. Like, yeah, go ahead and take it. Nothing. I think he's right. 
I, I can't remember a, a, a single hand where Maury has gotten a walk. And Jeremy just got a walk bringing in with the deuce of spades. Deuce of spades bringing. Deuce of spades again. Maury's got the nine of spades. He completes. Benny's got the six of hearts. He makes the call. Osmus raises. raises. Finds the raise. Maury's out of the way. Quickly. Maury with the steal attempt. Yep. Sick of these walks. <laughs> Glazer's not going anywhere, though. He makes the call. So heads up between Glazer and Osmus. Glazer gets a seven of spades. Osmus gets a very nice looking ace of spades to go along with that deuce of spades. That's Osmus is going to come out with a bet here. The best card in the deck for him is the ace of spades without knowing his whole cards. Yeah, quick call from Benny who gets a 10. Osmus gets a 4. Osmus' board is looking pretty favorable here, and he's going to bet once yeah. again. Very scary. That 10 is probably a complete blank for, for Benny. Mori folded a 9, so the odds of Benny having a hand like 8-9 and playing it are very low. Then he could still have a straight draw with a low draw. Even if Jeremy does have a hand, like aces with a low draw, he's doing okay equity-wise. He does have to call 200,000 at this point, decides to give it up. It's a very good run out for Jeremy. Yep. The aggression to get Maury to fold allowed him to pick up the ace of spades and the four of hearts. Pick up an extra 600,000 chips. This April, get live poker coaching at the PokerGo studio in Las Vegas with PokerGo's first ever MTT strategy workshop. Coaching done by Andrew Lucky Chewy Lichtenberger and Andrew Moreno, who combined have more than $24 million in live tournament earnings. <laughs> The three-day seminar will take place April 5th through 7th at the PokerGo studio here in Vegas. Learn more at get.pokergo.com slash strategy. Also included in, in the price of attending that seminar is a satellite free roll to the opening event of the U.S. Poker Open. Again, that is get.pokergo.com slash strategy for more information on the seminar and how you can book. Back to the action here. Mori Eskandani up against Benny Glazer. Mori's got a 7 deuce. Benny's got a 6 10. Benny checks. Mori bets. Benny folds. I just never, ever have anything. What can I say? They don't ever give me anything. <laughs> Mori shows a king and a 5 from the hole. calling me every time because I never have anything. You don't, you don't need anything in a stud game, man. Just play your board. Play the board and just... Bet until empty. you get raised. You ever heard the the Phil Ivy strategy for stud high? You have the this highest up card, and like you just bet until just you get raised, and then you make a decision. <laughs> Propel me to. Uh, yeah, you have the only the only ace board. on the table. The end of this race. Yeah, by the end. Or of this round. dust. <laughs> One the thing. Possible. Yeah, this play's too big. Yeah, first hand to hold them, last hand yeah. to level. I'm gonna hold my breath until it's over. <laughs> First hand to hold him, which means Jeremy gets the button three times, and the other players sure. only get the button two times, playing seven <laughs> hands of each game. That was a very skeptical. And on the button, Osmus going to raise it up. Glazer comes along with a call. Seven, six, four, two spades out there. Glazer checks. Osmus yeah. comes with a bet. Raise. Glazer with the check raise. Strong line from, from Benny here, representing uh, a lot of one pair holdings, a lot of straight draw or flush draw holdings. Osmus could have been betting the flop with any of his high card equity, cool. decides to make the call.
it's a very good card for Benny's perceived range, having a lot more 8-9 or a lot more suited cards that called out of the big blind. Jeremy coming with a raise, representing turning a flush. He could also have uh, Ace of Hearts or the King of Hearts turning his hand into a semi-bluff. Knows he can get Benny to fold any one pair of hands that don't want to withstand the pressure at this point. Benny down to under 2 million in chips. It is going to cost him another 200,000 on the turn to call and then another 200,000 on the river. Does decide to call. Five of hearts, interesting card here on the river. Puts four to a straight out there on board. I don't expect Benny to bet here ever. Unless he thinks maybe if, if he made a, an eight high straight that he, he thinks it's good. He does decide to bet after getting check or after getting raised on the turn after he himself check raised the flop. There was a lot of extra money in this in this pot with a raise on each of the flop and turns. Can Jeremy represent a big flush in this spot, or does he have a flush in this spot? I think what timing tells, it's more unlikely that he has any any sort of flush in this position i really like the way benny played this hand osmus does give it up yeah, nine, that's ten. a nice pot there for no. benny glazer to pull in I would expect Benny had a straight in, in that in that spot, a straight or maybe some disguised two pair. The odds of him having a flush the way he played it after just calling on the turn and then leading the river, I, I would say are pretty low. Jeremy was the one representing a flush. Limits are going up now. Blinds will be 75,000, 125,000. Limits 125, 250. That's what I'm going to tell myself. We're getting up there. Jeremy has lost a, a considerable amount of chips, especially in that pot to Benny. Jeremy <laughs> back under five, five million in chips after being to... above six. But you're right. It's a bit interesting. The view is like, did he have it? Who knows? The commentators yeah. are like, did he Nobody have it? Nobody will know. No one will know. No one will ever know. Well, I, mean, I don't think he's going to bet like ace, ace, big card with that flop. That's just a bad flop. Jeremy? I yeah. think he could definitely bet Maybe. ace, big card in that flop as long as he, the ace is a is a spade. Oh, cool. Jeremy? Yeah, yeah Jeremy, for sure. I mean, and family you would think, you know, a lot of times that sort of flop would probably favor the big blinds range, but it's three-handed. Three I mean, Jeremy could easily have like <laughs> the six, seven, like it just. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> he's on the button. He's got the chip lead. They're three-handed. I mean, he's gonna be he's gonna be driving the aggression quite a bit. So, right, the ranges are, are so wide from from both players in this in this three-handed battle. Benny so gives that one up. Let's let's price. Jeremy take some chips back. I'll probably pay it back. All right, we get to see Maury in the big blind now, getting a little short. I think the last time I saw Maury had about one one and a half million chips. Those days. <laughs> really still weird. still yeah, about the same. What do you think? Like somebody turned his hand over and call him an idiot? What are you doing, idiot? Why would you make that call? It's hard to imagine what. Yeah. Come on, Fishgate. <laughs> <laughs> you could just berate the play. <laughs> yeah. Uh. 
Walk? No, oh my god. Just because you were saying you didn't have if a If I have aces, I'm walking out this door. Don't look. Yeah. Queen That's something. Right. I'm sorry. Deuce. Queen deuce. You suited? Yes. <laughs> I wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, they had me dominated. So now you got your walk. I was happy for at least. <laughs> got that walk you've been looking for all day. The walk and hold. All right, Jeremy's second time on the button. Reminder: There are they do play seven hands of each game, so Wait, even, even though they are down to three-handed here, they'll still play rotations that are seven hands of each game before moving on. We are currently playing limit hold'em. All games in this horse rotation are limit. Tomorrow, when the eight-game final table is here, we will have some big bet games in there. We saw some PLO action. Yeah, we did yesterday. We did. Yeah, the the eight game is horse plus no limit hold'em plus pot limit Omaha plus deuce to seven triple draw, and all three of those games have the potential to play pretty big. Deuce to seven triple draw is a limit game, but it plays pretty big overall. It definitely plays. And big. then of course the big bet games, no limit hold'em and PLO can. That's where you can really get all the money in if if you want to. Another check raise here from Benny Glazer. Another check raise. Osmus does make the call to stick around. Ace 10 8 was the flop. Nine on the turn. The dynamic between these two players prior to this hold'em round was very passive. And then you see the last two times that Benny was the big blind against Jeremy on the button. There's been a lot of chips inserted into this pot. Glazer does come with a lead here after check raising the flop. Osmus now thinking it over. He is going to make the call. So off to <coughs> a river we go. Bit of a pot building here. Nine of spades on the river pairs the board. Benny Glazer first to act here. Bet it is pretty Benny scary Glazer. when the big blind check raises ace high boards. Yeah, I mean that that should be a, a flop where. You know, it does favor the preflop raiser in, in Osmus, so when you are getting check raised. Right. And Osmus, Osmus coming with a raise does here. Find the raise here. Benny with a little look to the sky, kind of like, are, are you serious? <laughs> this looks so much stronger after we saw the previous orbit Jeremy fold the river when facing a bet from Benny. Jeremy could have called the check raise on the flop with some kind of nine that has a straight draw combination that now made trips. He could certainly have some straights in his range. If Maybe Benny he's just absolutely nutted with like a full house, so which is certainly in could his definitely range. Definitely have aces full. I mean, he was the last aggressor aggressor preflop. Uh, that's unfortunate. I think Benny's going to find the fold here, but if Benny loses his pot, it brings him below two million in chips, which is pretty close to. Where Maury is, Benny does fold. And, and the way that Benny said that it was quite unfortunate makes me think maybe he flopped maybe two pair. Maybe he's got tens and eights, aces and the eights, something like that. And, and then when the board pairs on the river, the board pairs, not... it, it can counterfeit him. It also can just put him behind. So it's just not a good spot for him on the river there. And maybe that's why he was talking about how that run out was a bit unfortunate for him and he ultimately had to give it up. Jeremy not revealing anything, no. His cards into the muck face uh, down, not again, showing them. Nobody will know. <laughs> Maury and Benny both below two million in chips, <clears throat> but they're by no means in the in the danger zone just yet. They can still afford to play a, a couple of hands. Benny thinking about it from the small blinds. Walk it out. Decides to give it up. <whistles> 
two more hands of limit hold'em here until we change our game. Benny folding the button. Jeremy does not want to give another walk to Maury in this spot. Can't Takes it down. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't give you two walks in a row, he says. So do you. You play much cash these days? Not really. My cash game limit is two hours. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I tell the guys, I'm here to hit and run. Or dump and run. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, I can't play it much longer. I mean, this is... Just because you're over it or just because you got other no, no, things no. to I'm do? No, no, usually like by the time I'm, I want to play, it's late at night. Late, I'm yeah. way too tired and I sure. just don't have the time. Yeah, I hear you. This is a battle we haven't seen in in a little bit of time. Wow. I mean, this came out of nowhere, right? Maury did say every time he raises, Benny re-raises him. He's just <laughs> just prophesizing the future. Queen, queen, eight here on the flop. Maury checked dark. Yeah, and, and Benny came out with a pretty quick bet here. Maury puts his hand into the muck and... Benny Glazer takes that one and chops down Mori a little bit. Mori looks like he's got probably less than a million now. Yeah. yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, about about 900K or so for, for Mori. So trending downward still for the president of Poker Go, the Poker Hall of Famer, the man behind high stakes poker, poker after dark, you know, all those... Very, very popular that shows that we all came to love so much. $82 to $800 that, was, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Strong, yeah. Uh, yeah. I liked your addition. Go start one, yeah. one on five, no <laughs> stud. Imagine, like, on to he just doesn't win at any of those limits. <laughs> and, like, he's probably just, not here today. Yeah. Like, just completely different story. Nah, he probably, I think, he went, he went bust a few times, I think. He's, 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 he's he would have. Uh, you know, he would have got back in the action. Yeah, maybe, but still probably a different story. That can't be, that can't be, that has to be a horrible hand. <laughs> he's, looking, he's trying to find a justification. Maybe I'm thinking about re-raising, maybe. Um, Yeah, Maury using a lot of a lot of per live pro speech play. Yep. With his game. Five three deuce here. We are playing Omaha high low now. Osmus checks. Too much, How do you know that flop doesn't hit me? <laughs> because the How way you I thought know? about your hand for so <laughs> long, that, that flop eight. is all Maury <laughs> all day. <laughs> Maury at least has an ace, I would assume. And I got yeah. that. Yeah, Maury's got everything. This one didn't. But it could, oh, sorry. Actually, sorry have you beat, by the way, right now. <laughs> Pair of oh, fives, no good. Pulled the best hand. Right. <laughs> pulled the best hand. Jeremy's Finally, got one. Finally, I made him lay down the best hand. Jack, nine, seven, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a reasonable holding to claim that you have Oof. a pair of fives beat. Not a very reasonable holding in Omaha, eight or better. Do you play much cash games or no? No, I play zero. Nearly zero. Online some. Jeremy used to if be a play, cash game grinder. No limit, I thought so too. Back thought, in the day, I mean, that's that I was his. I, played, I thought I saw him I in Bobby's room. Texas. Yeah, that was kind of his know, his original stream game. Yeah. No one that would grind, like. and then he of course hit that big score, the WSB main event, making the final table, and yeah. now he's attorney pro. I think he. I think he used to play a lot around town. Good for Play a lot of Bellagio, if I remember ace, correctly. Ace, ten, jack, I think so too. Double suited. Whoa. There's so many. That, once that tournament bug I mean, bites you, man. I mean, it's, it's like game over. over but. You, you like to play tournament. Yeah. yeah I, I've been told by many people that now that I am where I am, I can never this, stop playing I mean, tournaments. 
Old yeah, I mean, they kind of feel the same way. Right. Still kind of similar, but it's a different world. Yeah, a lot of them do both. Now. Yeah. Yeah, do both. You know, we talked about the Hall of Fame earlier. I need at least another no, another right, few bracelets no, to even be in the conversation. Like, mm -hmm. Stars is pretty dead. Um, but mostly been traveling. I'm not playing. Bless oh. you. <laughs> Haven't been playing online much the last yeah. year or two. Jack 10 Deuce here. Benny Glazer up against Jeremy Osmus. Jeremy Osmus raised on the button. Glazer defended from the big blind and then checked on over to Osmus. Osmus is going to continue with the bet here. Benny Glazer makes the call. Nine of spades on the turn. So there will be no low in this hand. Glazer checks. Osmus bets. Glazer folds. You're one of the rare guys that went that plays mix and then can play no limit now too. It's not, mm -hmm. a, not a very uh, often seen transition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I try. Yeah. Play both mix and, and no limit. Well, that yeah. like primarily played mix our whole career now plays no limit. You know, at a at a you know, you seem like you know what you're doing. Like, I wonder which one is people harder. Stick to mix the whole time. Sure. Yeah. Is it harder to go from being a limit player to learning no limit, or being a no limit player learning limit? I think it's harder to go from no limit to limit. They yeah, just I like don't know. miss way too many bets. It, it, yeah. it feels that way, you know. Yeah. Like, but also, if you're a limit player, it's so weird you can bet so much, too. You know? So weird you can bet so much. You can bet so much money all the time. It's kind of wild. Maury's going to raise it up here on the button. Benny Glazer makes it three bets. Maury makes the call. Yeah, Maury. Maury doesn't have very many chips left at this point. He's hoping for at least half the pot. Nine, seven, six. Glazer first to act here. He was out of the small blind to start this hand. Okay. He comes with the bet. Raise it up. That's a raise from Maury. You have, that's 52, have that's 50 too much. Like too much. Yeah. 275 behind. No, yeah, three, 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 350 three. behind for Maury after putting in that raise. Glazer. Just calls here. Eight of spades on the turn. Again, Mori Eskandani has 350,000 behind. The bet right now would be 250,000. If, if Benny bets here, he could ask for the rest of Mori's chips on the river. He does find the bet representing at least ace deuce. Yeah, Mori yeah, puts the rest of his chips in. Benny Glazer makes the call, and here we go. We got the ace three, right? Maury has ace queen of spades for the nut flush draw and then seven five. So he's got an ace five low, but that low is no good against the ace three low for Benny Glazer. Three diamond. Maury's right now. It's a chop unless yeah, a three comes the on the river. The seven for the high right now. No, he has a straight for the or high. Sorry, straight for the high right now. My, my fault. My bad. So unless a three comes on the river, this is going to be a chop out. A three would give Maury three yeah, quarters of his pots. Or get three quarters. Here we go. Four. Four. Close, but <laughs> Benny Benny was scared. A little bit. Chop it up. Mm -hmm. So Maury stays alive. Okay. Well, we see how easy it is for Maury to get his stack in. He's a, a little short at this point. But yeah, Maury's still right around 900K to a million. Benny's got about 2.1, 2.2, and Osmus has, I think, 6 million, maybe maybe a little bit you more. You main game is no limit now? Like. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's why I play the most of. 
Um, yeah, probably, probably like my best. I'd say my best game. I don't know, maybe PLO. Possible. It's definitely not any of these games. I'll tell you that. <laughs> How much do you, would you say the feel for the No Limit has changed in the last five years? I know it changed quite a bit, obviously. Stop, stop, old. stop, stop. That's five that, cards. Oh, oh yeah. five, oh. five cards. Okay. Missed still, yeah. Okay, big O, let's play. <laughs> Everyone can get all um, in. Let's we'll just play big O. Last five years, like the fields or like yeah, how like players how, play? How tough, you know, I mean, the field kept getting tougher, obviously. I'm talking, yeah, about, the, tougher. I'm talking about the high roller field. The high roller field. Yeah, but pretty much the same, right? Last five years it's, haven't changed much. It hasn't changed much, and these have been growing nicely. Yeah. You know, you know like, get 100 people for these 10K No Limit sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And, and I'm telling you, every series in here, PLO, No Limit, Mix, I see new faces every series. Good. At least one, up to like five, seven people I've That's never seen before. That's obviously what everybody wants. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's great. I agree. I love growing mixed events. I'm trying to raise. Is this right? That's right. Heads up between Osmus and Escondani here. Flop is Jack three deuce, two spades. Could be a fun one in Omaha High Low. Osmus first to act here. Comes with a bet. Escondani makes the call. Nine of clubs on the turn. And it looks like Mori has enough chips to play out this entire hand without having to be all in. Osmus checks. Escondani comes with 250,000. Osmus makes the call. The river is king of diamonds, so no low possible on this hand. Both flush draws miss. Check. Check, check. Three. One person is going to win this hand. Yeah. Looks like Mori with the ace jack is going to win this hand. Yeah, ace jack 10 10 against the 8 6 4 3. So a pair of threes for Osmus, pair of jacks for Morius Kandani, and he's going to take this pot. Much needed pickup for him. Seeing some questions about the graphics not being there, some concerns about the graphics not being there within the chat. So we can't have graphics because Morius Kandani is at the final table. As long as he's in, no graphics. All right, guys, and somebody's got to go rush, go on and rush for half an hour. It's not Let's because Mori is the one running the graphics. It is a Nevada <laughs> gaming <laughs> regulations so reluctant. issue. And to be within those regulations, we cannot yeah. show the whole cards as long as he's there. So, so that's the reason I mean, for that, me, okay? If he busts, maybe we'll nice. bring the cards back. If he doesn't bust... This is how it's going to be, be from here on out. This is it. <laughs> what, what you get. That's one too much. Back Why to the not? radio version Jeez. of I'm commentating I'm poker I'm instead of the television ver level. version. Yeah. What about this? Make it easy. Instead of the blinds increasing, at every level increase, you just take some chips off the table. A certain percent of everyone's <laughs> chips. <laughs> you know, everyone takes off 10K or 20K. And then and then um, the blinds are the same still. I mean, it's obviously really going to screw the, the short stacks. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's somewhat the same thing as what we do yeah. already, but the blinds would be the same all the time. It sounds less exciting, honestly. Listen, guys, I don't understand <laughs> the regulations. I just know that there are regulations. I thought of that because okay? that's Savage just the rules. I'm like, I don't make them. Kevin Somewhere doesn't make them. Or there weren't levels. None of us here make them. There <laughs> it's just the clock. rules, okay? And we abide by the rules. Level one. Oh. That's how yeah, it I is. Think I oh, it. Okay, every time somebody gets eliminated, level one. Yeah, I've seen that. The charity game does stuff. Well, 
Maury Raisin take it on the button here. Yeah, we, we will do our best to show the board during the flop games, hold them in Omaha, and then during the stud games, we'll extend out. Octopi Poker is building your path to poker mastery. Head on over to octopipoker.ai to take advantage of their tools for free for a limited time. You guys can check out Octopi Poker's oh, the Poker Studio went to a certain point. for some solver the stuff. You guys can check out Octopi huh? Poker Base for some live streamed hand archives that comes with further insight into those live stream hands. And then also check out the Octopi Forum if you're looking for a poker coach over at pokerforum.ai. But if you want to join the tribe of Octopi Poker, that's octopipoker.ai. Get in the beta for free because it's free for a limited time. Bring in a 25? 50. Now a four as the bring in and Raz being the highest card against two deuces. Jeremy thinking about what he wants to do. You could call a lot of hands in this spot. There's a bunch of dead money in the pot. Decides Too much. to come with a complete. Maury going to show Just a. So you know, laying his hand down. <laughs> That's the good one, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to show a king or something and lay his hand down. All right. Doesn't work with these guys. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy was not born yesterday. <laughs> Benny, right around 2.2 million in chips. Yeah, Benny in second, Morias Kandani is in third, and then Jeremy Osmus, he's the one up on top. Mori chipped up quite nicely, though. It looks to be about 1.8 ish million. Not, not in the danger zone anymore after scooping that Omaha eight hand. Mori bringing it in here with the nine. Benny Glazer is going to complete with a seven. Osmus out of the way. And Eskandani out of the way. So Benny Glazer takes that one. We are playing 25,000 anti, 50,000 bring in, 125,000, 250,000. You know how it is, like everybody roots for the underdog, they always root for the, the favorite, uh, so they can go home. Of course. <laughs> yeah. If you got the most chips, they're all rooting for you. Come on, get I it did, done, I get did it done. I did some commentating for a while, I know. I don't, I don't root that way. I don't either, I just want to see good poker. I, I root for what I think is going to be the One best content. Decent pair of jacks. So that Long can be the game. best poker. It can be like an exciting hand. Like that, that's kind of just what I want to see. No? I kind of, I kind of like it. Too. I mean, uh, the days were the days were short. At least when I did it, they were it was a year. So yeah. the long days, like the 10, 12 hours, that seems <laughs> tough. Oh yeah. Mine were like four hours. Yeah, yeah. These ones are easy. But especially like when you have fun co-host or like the streams fun. I yeah. really enjoy it. And, yeah. These are much easier than the eight I, or ten I hour days like that we had doing the 50k I I like the previous years. Same, like, same for both, yeah. yeah. Yeah, some of the some of the ones can go quite, quite long. Maury stuck with the bring in again in Raz. I'm not throwing this one away. <laughs> Benny winning the last three no, pots. Yeah. Finding some resistance from Mori this time. Catches a queen and Benny catches an ace. This hand is over. I had two jacks. You have two jacks? You can pick oh. one if you want. <laughs> nice board there for Benny Glazer, of course. Libertarian clip said, didn't realize how important Maury was till today. I mean, he's he's at the top. He's the HMFIC. He is the president of Poker Go. He is, 
I mean, I won't say he's like solely responsible for like poker on TV because he's he's not, but he's one of the most important people in terms of like poker on TV. Yeah. Like in in the history of the game. So he's very much immersed in in the the right. poker world, the poker community, especially on the high stakes scene with kind of the older generation. He's played a lot of cash games all through the 80s, 90s. The I mean, he, was, we'll get it. he was a player yeah, before yeah, he got yeah. into the industry side of things, and he was the man behind high stakes poker, Poker After Dark. He's the one running the show here for all of these live streams quite often. Uh, so the he's one who we have it. to yell at to get some mezclobars out yeah, of Yeah, exactly. He, well, he's usually, honestly, he's the one that brings him in. Hey, guys, I brought more boxes of mezclobars. And then everyone flocks and they're gone. So, yeah. yes, he's the guy. He's the guy. So he's a little bit busy right now. All right, I see. <laughs> Poker's come a long way. It has. I mean, just the studio alone. I, I really, agree. <laughs> it really is. Brilliant. For me, it's like I couldn't be more happy but thankful for it. Because cash kind of died for me, and then this is just here all the time now. Perfect. I'll tell you what. Mm. Well, that's not a uh, correct amount. But, but you, you're going to tell me what and then... No, I mean, I, I'm... No? <laughs> Lost his train of thought. All right. <laughs> Benny Curious brought it in with a seven. Was gonna be. Jeremy folded a three. Maury completed with a six and Benny called. If we switch, if we switch, six with the eight. What were you going to tell me? Huh? You would have done that. No, I said, what were you going to tell me? You said, I'll tell you what. And then that was the end of the sentence. This, this will be my uh, 15th steal attempt, and you got 14 <laughs> out of 15. <laughs> For those <laughs> asking where Remco Rinkima is, he's <laughs> at a bike race. Okay, I mean, that's what he's doing. Okay, guys. Uh, you stuck your sentence because. So I you're stuck you with me, stealing. Donnie Peters, and uh, Kevin Gearhart alongside of me. I knew that meant you were stealing. Yeah. But we, we've had Kevin on here before for for the mixed games. It's been a lot of fun. I really enjoy commentating. Uh, He's the expert. He's a four-time bracelet winner. Saved by the bell. Benny here. Any three cards. Yep. Yeah, I don't know where Remco is is racing, guys, but he's racing. Round round. I told him he couldn't come back unless he won. I'm sick and tired of this, like him posting these photos of finishing in third place. Like you don't know, like that's not how this too. works. I don't finish third place in a tournament and like celebrate. I'm pissed that I lost. <laughs> like that's depends on what tournament. <laughs> I mean, I would still, I would still be a bit upset. Even it's like third place in the main event. You're so you're you're fine, like in terms of the money that you would win, of course. But yeah. like you would always be like, man, I was I was two this spots close. away. I'll never I was get right this close there. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we talked to almost everyone who finished in third place in the main event, they'd be like, yeah, I'd do it again. Well, yeah, of course. I mean. You have to be some sort of sicko like Jesse Sylvia to not be happy about a second place. <laughs> not much action these last couple of hands here. No, Still we three handed here in event number three at the PGT Mixed Game Series. We didn't see a single showdown in Raz, and I don't really expect there to be a single showdown in Horse or in uh, Stud until we get back to Hold'em. Five point. Six, I think. Cool. You? Six. Six. Uh, a bit more. I had one million, uh, now I, 50 comes down. Okay. 9.50. Well, they just told us. I think Benny said he had around two and a half. Jeremy has 5.6, and Maury has exactly a million. Okay, we get some action here. Maury with the bring in, Benny with and the completes, Jeremy with the raise, and take it. Two point five. 
What's that? Two four five. Two point five. Structure a little bit slower for these ten thousand dollar buy-in events. Start with the same chips that you start with in the five Ks, hundred and fifty thousand for both, but ten minutes extra per level. You play forty minute levels here in the ten thousand dollar events, you play thirty minute levels in those five Ks. So it makes a huge difference. Yeah, I mean that's that's why we were well, we, st we I think we started those final tables like 100, 200 ish, right, right around there. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the blinds here, we started much lower. <laughs> yeah, it was 6120 to start. Benny with the bring in, Maury with the complete. Gotta increase the, your number, your hitting percentage. All right, in that case, I'll let you have it. <laughs> oh, I had a really good card to go with that. Of course I have nothing. It's like All right, the 16th steal attempt from Maury into Benny finally got it done. Or what, 7% it, to like it is 9, the worst 9%. I raised looking at one card, so I actually have a draw that he calls. I'm drawing nothing. <laughs> it's an extra that's, draw, that's right? That's what I did two, two hands here. Yeah. Extra draw. <laughs> yeah, and then Jeremy slapped the, the, the back of the hand and said, no, my pot. At this part in the tournament, you just you have you're forced to play hands. You're forced to steal. You're forced to be aggressive and raise. You can't just sit around and wait for uh, thank God. the good hands. Always me to the wolf. I finally came in. I was trying to save you. Yeah, this Sorry, guy's not a wolf. Me. Definitely qualifies as a wolf. But he's far away wolf. <laughs> 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 Maybe we'll get to a 7th Street showdown a in stud eights. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I definitely miss playing poker. That's for sure. Looks like Maury Escondani is on about 1.2 million in chips. So the short stack here with three players remaining. Everyone left guaranteed $88,200. Second place, $126,000. First place, $201,600. Like no fight, no Dis nothing. Discipline. Like a good neighbor is supposed to do. We did lose Daniel Legrandu in fourth place. Down. Feels oh, like yeah. forever ago yes. now. It really was forever ago. Yeah, Daniel took home $63,000. And then the first player to bust on today's stream was Jerry Wong. He finished in fifth place for $47,250. Jerry Wong came in pretty, pretty short compared to the rest of the field. Only lasted a few hands before he was out the door. Other players to cash in this event include Maxim Pisarenko in sixth place, Talal Shakurchi, seventh place, Ben Diebold in eighth place, and John Manette in ninth place. Just a sick lineup of, of all oh, yes. mixed game crushers. Right, you got him. No, I don't always have blanks. Maury gets that Once one. Once in a while. Sometimes you got to get some cards. So the Pair of sevens for him. Shows it. <laughs> Maury's showing at least 12 hands today. Drawing four hands. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's here having fun. I don't think he cares about the money too much. He doesn't really care about the leaderboard points. He's just here to play some cards. If Maury goes on to win, if he pulls off a comeback and does win, it would be his largest live tournament score of his career. Current best is in 2019, he won a Aria High Roller tournament for 128000 Was that two cards? I, I must have been. Oh, my gosh. It was, it was either two or four. I'm not, it probably wasn't one, anything else. One or the other. Um, he, the year before, he won a Aria High Roller for 110000 and then he won a half hold'em, half seven card stud. I didn't even know that was a game. Back in 2003 at the Legends of Poker, which I'm assuming <laughs> was at the bike, yeah. out in LA. $3,000 buy in there. He took first place for 68K. Free look, didn't work. Again. In 1993, Maury took 15th in the WSB main event. Those are the two cards. I wonder how many runners are in that field. 1993. I'll say. 220. Okay. New I think that's a that's a reasonable that reasonable guess. 
well before poker as we know it. When is the late ridge over there? What did no, I say? Two twenty, two thirty-one. Who won that one? Jim Bechtel. Uh, Jim Bechtel. Okay. Hours, so. Yeah. A couple hours, guys. You got to play fast. Like you haven't been. Interesting. Maury finished in fifteenth place. Finishing in twelfth place, Henry Orenstein, the late Henry yes. Orenstein, who he is the one who invented the whole card cam. A good friend of Maury's passed away a couple years ago. I did watch a documentary on that. Yeah, Henry, I, I believe, had like hundreds of patents. Um, just patent, patent, patent everything. Right. I think he was a toy maker as well. But yeah, he he and he and Maury kind of came together, put their minds together, and uh, I guess brought the game to life, as they say. With the Maury getting the involved here, team. bringing it in. We are playing stud eight or better. He brought it in with the Deuce of Clubs. Jeremy completed. Maury called. Maury called on 4th Street. That's better, right? <laughs> and on 5th uh, Street after yeah. catching a queen and a 10. Wow. 2 4 5. Oh, very going very going strong right. holding. Queen and a 10. Catching a queen and a 10, not what you <laughs> wanted to see. <sighs> okay, Maury, Maury's quite short now. Doesn't have enough to play an entire, an entire game of stud 8 or better. There you see the updated chip counts on the screen. Jeremy well out in front with more than six million. Benny Glazer in the middle there with two point five seven five million. And Morius Kandani rounding out the pack with eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. If you guys want to know why we don't have graphics showing on your screen, if you are watching on YouTube, just click the pinned message in the chat. It is because Mori Escondani is at the final table and due to gaming regulations can't have it, can't have those graphics while he's still in. So if he does bust, maybe we'll bring him back. But if he stays in, we're going to have to run this thing graphics list. We did want to bring you guys a stream, though. The one option was just don't do a stream. But we said, you know what, we'll, no, just, come on. we'll just do it without the cards. We can eye the chips axe. We can call the action. So... Think of it as a throwback. Break, right? The old WSOP oh, yeah. stuff used to have no hole cards. Right. You know, and the people were just in the booth kind of calling the action and guessing. So right. we're throwing it back. All right, the players are going to go on a break here. It's about a three- or a four-minute break, so not too long. We're going to roll some highlights, and then we'll, we will be back here in a short period. So see you. play WPT. Oh, right. You're going to limp call here on the button with the queen eight off. Shmilkovich has the four deuce off. Off to a flop we go. More than a million in there. King nine four. Two hearts. Yeah. Shmilkovich checking his bottom pair. Negroni checks back. Queen on the turn. That puts Daniel Negreanu back out in front. He's got the better pair, pair of queens. Yeah. Another check here from Smilkovic. Another check back from Negreanu. King pairs the board on the river. Negreanu's hand is best as long as he doesn't fold here. Sizable seven-figure pot out there for the taking. Yeah. Is Negreanu going to go for some value here? Looks like he is. Like 450. 450 is the bet. Just 
about a 40% pot here from Daniel. Cool. Shmilkovic is going to pay it mm -hmm. off. And here we go. Daniel Negreanu takes the chip lead, heads up, wow, against Daniel Shmilkovic. About 40% of the chips in play, so things haven't been going his way in these, these most recent hands, but you know, it's kind of just the ups and downs of tournament poker. Shmilkovic certainly not out, not out of it in the slightest. But Daniel here. Oh, my God. Ace, king. On the button. What more can you wish for in tournament play than to pick up a monster right after having taken the lead here during the heads-up portion of the tournament? And Jack-Jack-10 rolls off the deck. And the Grandu limped in on the button pre-flop. Shmilkovic checked the Jack-Deuce. Wow. Shmilkovic smashes this flop. Perhaps the Grandu saving grace here that he only has a gut shot at this point. And Negreanu betting here, but likely going to call a check raise. He's got enough of a hand here to be able to continue with this one. His hand could also... You're not lying. I'm going to yeah. check your account, you know. I'll call. Okay. But Make sure we are back here, final table of PGT Mixed Games <laughs> event number three. A little bit late catching up with this hand, but coming in here on 4th Street of a stud eight hand, Benny Glazer brought in, Jeremy Osmus folded, Maury Escondani made the call. Then Glazer bet 4th Street, and Maury had just made the call. Raise it. Looks like Maury's going to get his... Oh, yeah. Ooh, right. okay. perfect amount. I will call. Yeah, Maury's getting his chips in here, and six, seven. Benny right. Glazer is gonna make the call. So, Maury Escondani's tournament life on the line here. Okay. We are playing right? stud high low. Seems roughly fair. That's. Maury has a pair of tens and a straight draw. Benny Glazer has two pair and could back also catch a low. Draw. Yep. Nope. Hello. Two cards oh, to come yeah. for Hello each player. Top. We're all in here on Fifth really Street. Nice. Right. I'll leave the jack open. This is what we need. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, ten. And then we need a jack. Right <laughs> <here. laughs> Maury, Ma 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 what are you doing? <laughs> right. It's not even in order. Not even close. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, <laughs> so Maury does need to improve his hand. He needs to make two pair or a straight. Or three of a kind. Eight is okay, too. Well, there's an eight for tens That's up. That's not good. What are you three pairs oh, is oh, too many. That's a great you, card. No, it's a good card you. because he's not going to make a low. Okay. Eight so now Benny has to dead. improve. Eight tens and eights for Maury. Currently it's sevens and fours yeah. for Benny Glazer. <laughs> I, oh, he took a four, four away. I blocked this four. One fewer out for Benny. I'll let you catch the ten. Three, so two twos, oh, one four, two sevens. Is it always God. coming seven? Paint. It's always a boring squeeze. Paint's not going to do Paint's it. Paint's no good. Morius Kandani going to scoop that one and double up here. Nice I'm pretty sure it's correct. But, yeah. Phase one came true. Double through him. Now it's you. I, oh, I, I think I, know it's I think Maury has hand. more That's chips than too. Benny does at this point, oh, or it's very like close. Fifth, okay, That's fine too. It's very yeah, close between Maury's the two. Got of about them. 1.8, 1.9, and about the same for Benny Glazer. Maybe, maybe a slightly less. I mean, they're they're very close, those two, and then Jeremy is. Well out in front with the chip lead. That's what we wanted. We finally got to a to a Seventh Street no, showdown no, after no. none in Raz <laughs> and none in Stud High. Deuce of Clubs bring in for Mori at this point. Benny completes next to act with the Deuce of Diamonds. Jeremy thinking about it. Seven of Hearts. 
lets it go. Mori also letting it go. Doesn't want to give any of his newly acquired chips back to Benny. This has been a battle. Yeah, Benny Glazer started the day atop the final five. We are now down to three-handed play. Jerry Wong going out in fifth place. Daniel <laughs> Negron, you later fall him out the door in fourth place. Definitely Since then, we've been, we've been playing three-handed now for just about three hours, or approaching three hours. Or two hours. Sorry, my fault. Two hours. Yeah, I think Negrano got knocked out about 45 minutes into the into the stream. Maybe yep. 40 minutes into the stream. So, yep. Almost two hours of, of three-handed play between these As players. As advertised. Railroad track. Mori with the complete and take it down. Any crazy Mike here? One of these days. He's been in. Uh, he's played a couple of these, but yeah. he's played all of them, has not he? No, we need yeah. him in front of the camera. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Maury's a crazy Mike fan. I I don't know if I woulda if I woulda guessed that. I'm a crazy Mike you fan. I know it's like, it's very hit or miss. Oh. If yeah. between the two oh, yeah, extremes, I'm I'm neutral. I, I don't I don't care either way. But okay, what I'll say is that if he were to make a streamed final table, especially in this mix games, he would be very polarizing to the audience. Yes. You would have half of exactly. them would love him, half of them would hate him. Right. For sure. He just has that polarizing effect. I have my days. Right. Some days I'm like, crazy Mike, okay, cool, I like it. Some days I'm like, Can you just quiet, please. I can't, I can't, I got <laughs> I a can't headache, take I got a headache, Mike. I can't handle it. Like, <laughs> you know. I've played many days where he's at the table next to me playing mixed game cash and depending on how my mood is that day it depends on if i like him or not yeah. depends on how you're running yeah <laughs> really good board development here for jeremy with the two three four benny king on his board pretty blank card jeremy continuing to fire benny getting relatively short 1.3 million chips left has to call 300,000 to see another card. Thinking about it. Plenty of time bank chips, so he's not he's not worried about running out of time. He just wants to think long enough to make the correct decision. Jeremy's board is very scary. And if Benny wants to call down, it's going to cost him 900,000 chips of his 1.3 remaining. Very deep in the tank at this point. He is the shortest stack. So there's really not too much pressure on him to, to wait out Mori busting at this point. He just wants to make the best decision in terms of chick, chip equity, as we call it. Oh, he's on his third time extension. In a mixed game, that's, that's not very common. does come out with the fold. The king is just such a bad card for his hand. I would assume as long as he has three to a low to start the, start the hand. Jeremy adding more to his already big stack compared yep. to the other two. If 
Sunny kind of feeling it. He's not looking too happy after Fucking losing cool. with, with two pair to two pair. You can't curse him too much. <laughs> no, obviously. Yeah, obviously. But like, cash game, easy yeah. to continue. Oh, yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah. Last hand of stud eight here. Mori with the bring in. Oh, oh my God. No, you should have called. Call, 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 call. Gets another walk and Great shows walk. it. That's my NC. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is this a new game? Yeah. Yeah, new game? All right. New game. First card they can have there, I think. What, what is All right. Good news this? for Benny. They started a new game. Uh, Next big. Yeah, Limit hold them. And they are playing seven hands of each game, which means Benny will get the button three times, and the other two players at the table will only get the button two times. So Benny does not have to pay the big blind three times. Oh, yeah. You can, you can give it back to us. With how short his stack is, that's a pretty big advantage at this point. <coughs> Jeremy raising, small blind to big blind. Maury, three betting out of the big blind. Jeremy coming along with the call. King nine tray. Mori takes no time firing out. I expect this board to hit his range much harder than, than Jeremy's range. Jeremy does come with the call. Seven on the turn. Mori still firing away. We did see Mori earlier check out of position with top pair in a limit holding pot against Benny. But in position, he's going to continue firing. Most likely has has a king. He just tell us what he's he had? He told us he had ace king of clubs <laughs> on the king high flop. He shows the ace king of clubs. <laughs> Thank you, Maury. Ace nine. Yeah, what am I going to do? I got a phone. This is <laughs> Second pair. Yeah. Mori right. chipping up nicely. I don't here. bluff the annual subscribers. You don't bluff Once what? in a while, the uh, annual subscribers. Oh, yeah. you know, annual subscribers, I don't bluff you. I Just, should have told you. Yep, you have my same. ward. That's right. I do not bluff annual subscribers. If you're quarterly, you know, half the time. If you're monthly, I will try to bluff <laughs> quite a bit. <laughs> should have told you the start of the final table. Maybe you would try to steal. Less. No. Okay. We didn't even get to see his cars as he's bluffing at this point. <laughs> Benny does want to see his cards eventually. Heads up to the flop. 10 3 deuce. Two spades. Maury continues with his with his aggression. Benny calls. Benny getting very short at this point. Does need to get something going. Maury continuing to fire. Jesus, that's, that's three hundred thousand chips. Benny only has eight hundred thousand left. Like I said, shows again, so it's probably out. not a bluff. Nope. Ace-10 with the Ten of Spades in wow. his hand. Very good flop, very good turn card. Morgan, a little bit of a rush here. Yeah, the heater is real. Come on. Take Looks it like down, Mori. Maybe over $3 million now for Mori Escondani. President of Poker Go and the Poker Hall of Famer. A lot of my family watch. Yeah. Mine too, actually. Yours too? 
<laughs> Get some. <laughs> My mom is also How watching many on YouTube. Can I, give you guys? <laughs> I just got a hat today. Uh, a oh, yeah. cat. Needed out there today. My mom's one of those people that sends all this stuff to all of her siblings, and they yeah. all watch it. That's great. So at least at least six of the views are my family alone <laughs> on YouTube. Love it. Queen five deuce here, all hearts on the flop. Osmus checks on over to Eskandani and he fires a bet. Don't mess with the man on a rush, Jeremy. That's not, that's not how this works. Yeah, you gotta let him ride his wave. All right, Jeremy makes the call. Three on the turn. Osmus checks again. Eskandani quickly into his stack and fires a bet. You take the over or the under on point five time banks used for Mori this entire tournament. Way under. <laughs> Osmus makes the call off to the river we go. Juicy pot here for the taking. Three of hearts. Pairs the board also brings a fourth heart. Osmus is first to act here. He checks. No checking here, says Morius Kandani. He fires another bet, 300,000. I'm leaning towards believing this. All right, Jerry's going to call, so we're going to find out. That That's is the king high holding. flush. Mori flopped. Top so pair funny, with the king high out. flush draw. <laughs> Bet on every single street and got paid off on every single street. Yeah, the flush came in on the river form. The last three hands of Hold'em have been so good for Mori. He's flopped top pair three hands in a row and has uh, tripled his stack. It, it's It's been an impressive run. He's certainly rushing right now. There we get a look at Benny Glazer quickly. He's the he's the short stack right now. Yeah, remember the big bet is three hundred thousand. Benny only has eight hundred thousand in his stack, and he is the next big blind. Another confrontation between Jeremy and Maury. Mm -hmm. Jeremy, the last aggressor in this pot. King 7-3 should favor Jeremy's range a little bit more. Yeah. Fires out a continuation bet. Yes. Can Maury flop top pair four hands in a row, three-handed, limit hold him? That just doesn't seem fair. <laughs> Jeremy thinking about what he wants to do here. Facing a raise on this flop, this and just, flop just lets it go. But I decided to do it on the flop. Does he have jacks? Again. Ace jack. Mm -hmm. Wow. Definitely a rush for Mori Eskandani. This is that big rush. If you are watching on, on the Poker yeah. Go YouTube channel, maybe you got a, a little benefit out. from <laughs> our moderator, Jimmy Bluffett, who threw out right. 20. You YouTube you community memberships years. not too long ago. It was my fault yeah, for yeah, missing it. I have plan. Yeah, just then, all right, I so not appreciate you, Jimmy. Plan. Appreciate you, gonna get you to dropping some memberships. You, you, you surpassed that. Have yeah, you ever I'm called them sure. pork chops? All right, so no. Yeah, Form no. More than Formulate my plan. I, I feel like that's a Jason <laughs> Somerville thing, so <laughs> right. I can't. I can't steal that. Uh, from no, you got to. You got to throw back Jason Somerville, Jimmy Bluffin, an old school moderator for Jason Somerville as well. Thank you for those pork chops. My rush is over. Cash wow, Maury finds a fold for the fifth hand in a row. Just does not want to get in there. Benny finds the call. call. Benny down to 500,000 in chips <laughs> at this point. Very much on life support. Yeah, he's in this hand here, so let's see if he can come out, with it, come out of it with a win. He decides to lead on the queen 9-5 flop. Saying that he's willing to commit the rest of his stack. What does Jeremy want to do in this spot? I 
I think it's call or raise at this point once he reaches for chips. He said he said raise. Benny Glazer is putting all his chips in, and here we go. In all in and a call, Benny Glazer is the one at risk. Jeremy Osmus has ace five for a pair of fives with an ace kicker. King high flush draw for Benny Glazer. He's also got that king that he can pair up and take the lead as well. Nine clubs. Da, 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 Two da, da, cards to come. Oh, Benny no, Glazer yeah. trying to stave off a third place finish here in event number three. Ah, Pretty close in equities here. He tries to give the four, you know, Probably 60 40 in, in favor of the oh. pair of fives. Three on the turn. Couple more outs for yeah. Benny. He can hit Benny another can hit three a king. On the river. He can hit a three or he can hit a club. Only one card to come, though. Let's see what it is. Ten of clubs. There it is. Benny Glazer nods his head. 450. 450. Was all in there for 450,000 right. on the right. flop. What was the second part of your plan? Well, it was double through each of you. <laughs> so. A couple of dents recently, that's too, to good. Jeremy Osmond's stack. I want to say yeah, Mori Escondani might have the chip lead I now. I think Mori definitely has the chip lead at this Jeremy point. Jeremy lost that big pot. Paying off Mori Escondani when he, he oh, flopped top pair and then ended up making the flush. <laughs> right. Then he just lost those chips, doubling up Benny Glazer. So Jeremy Osmus, you know, not too long ago had more than six million in chips. Now it looks like he's got around three, three point five million or so. Yeah. Three now. Three Perfect. Three point three. One point three. These final three plus. players guaranteed $88,200. They came from a 63-entry field. First place, more than $201,000. We have Poker Hall of Famer, president of Poker Go, Maury Iskandani. We have Benny Glazer, widely regarded as one of the best all-around players in the world, and Jeremy Osmus. I mean... Jeremy Two Osmus. future Hall of Famers for sure. Yeah, I'm Jeremy Osmus. I, I'll I'll take a page out of Brent Hanks's book. One, one of the <laughs> one of the best looking players in poker, <laughs> if not the best looking player in poker. I okay. grin. I just yeah. changed. <laughs> uh. Whoa! I felt it. Nice. Everyone knew that this was Maury's round, and now oh, Limit Hold'em is over. Oh, yeah. Of course, I'm yeah. very happy. Passies. Was game change, Yamaha. Hey, Yamaha. We are moving over to Omaha Eight or Better. It really has been a battle three-handed. We are over the two-hour mark of them just playing three-handed after losing Jerry Wong very early on and Dale Negreanu within the first 45 minutes. The limits are getting up there. 150,000, 300,000 limits at this point. Whoa. Play seven hands of each game in the rotation. This is the first hand of Omaha High-Low. See, that's and that pot gets pushed to, to Mori Eskandani. Does Mori change his play style when he has a lot of chips compared to a little bit of chips? We, we saw him be kind of passive when his staff was dwindling, but now that he's acquired all these chips, is he going to mix it up and try to put the pressure on these young guns? I mean, he should. I try and win the tournament. You know he's just billing us. <laughs> Relentless now. Relentless. I really do think they hear me out there, even though we're <laughs> behind in time. Whoa. <laughs> solid Yamaha hand. Very solid. 
Okay, I mean, if, eight, if you're going to force me to, know, to have Omaha Ace 8, handle. Deuce 4 on the button yeah. I mean, I in Omaha I 8, that, so. I'm probably going to raise it, too. Playing Omaha, no being that. I'm playing Yamaha. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, I never had that either. Uh, I just made it up, that's why. Today? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? I thought that was like <laughs> some old <laughs> We call it Yamaha. <laughs> I thought that was some old school. <laughs> Mori has just been producing hand after hand for these last 10 hands. I think he's only folded a couple of them and he's just had the winner over and over and over. Fate. Jeremy tempting fate here. Cool. Raising small to big. Mori coming along to see a flop. 10-5 deuce, two clubs. Could be an interesting one here in Omaha High Low. Jeremy's going to come out with a bet. Escondani puts in a raise. Jeremy once had almost three stacks of those Bumblebee chips and is now down to one singular chip. Yeah, Jeremy Osmus makes the call here. So a bit of a pot brewing. Jack of Hearts on the turn. Osmus checks. Morius Kandani bets. Osmus is in there with a call. To the river we go. Ten of diamonds pairs the board. There will be no low on this hand. Also, that flush draw on the flop missed. Osmus going to come with the lead here. Okay. Yeah, no, very nice pickup. Is that ever a bluff? I, I don't I mean, think how, so. How hard I is it to bluff in limit games, right? That's, I mean, that's true. I I really I really don't think that's a that's a bluff. I think that's a that's a value bet in the face of say a flush draw with a low draw where the board just bricks out jack ten and we have the best high hand. So let's why why not bet it? Try and get some value. I had that surrounded pretty nicely. Is it? Yeah. Ten was the worst ten or jack. Good pick up there for Osmus because he had been trending in the wrong direction wow. for I mean, not a as few nice hands. As street, as five street, but it was it's still surrounded. You're just gonna check, I guess. Quickly. <laughs> yeah. But if you check, I'm checking. Yeah. 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 Benny gets a walk for this one. You were behind him. He'll take it. Yeah, he's still you know, still trying to rebuild. He'll take it. Oh, he's behind a four? No. <laughs> the river. River, of course. The river just ruined my hands completely. What does Maury want to do on the button here? I was yeah, thinking I'd, about the other I'd be surprised if Maury ever used a time bank for any of his decisions. <laughs> Every decision is instantaneous, very instantaneous. Benny Glazer limps in from the small blind. Jeremy Osmus in the big blind. He's going to kick it up a little bit here with the raise. Benny Glazer makes the call. Heads up between Glazer and Osmus. Ace, King, Jack. Two spades out there. Much better flop for Jeremy here, being the pre-flop aggressor. Yeah, he's going to bet after checked two. A lot of the times in Omaha 8, if you have a high only hand or if you have a hand with enough high equity that you want to play, you want to be the raiser or the last aggressor. 
Benny being a limp caller here signifies that he has an okay hand, but okay for low most of the time. That is not the card that Benny wants to see, I would assume. There is no low possible in this hand anymore. Jeremy trying to get to showdown is most likely in this hand to contain an ace. Benny does check it over. Does Jeremy want to bet this river? It is a good river for his perceived range. Pretty long debate for Jeremy overall from what we've seen today. He does like to take his time in spots, but this this is a little little longer than expected. Okay. Just decides to check it back. Yeah. Does Benny, have Benny the says ace. you win, and that that ace is gonna be good enough for Jeremy Osmus to take this one. Mm. His hand was ace eight six six double suited. No, I was thinking of check raising foot. <laughs> Sounds like you have the two, three of spades or something. Ten of spades. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to final table coverage here of event number three. Ten thousand dollar buy-in horse at the PGT Mixed Games Series. We are live from the Poker Go studio on the Las Vegas Strip. Coming to you from our secondary studio room. Over in the main room, we have event number four playing day one right now, a $10,000 buy-in eight-game tournament. You guys can follow live coverage of that tournament over on PGT.com. Just click the live reporting tab or the link at the top of the page. For those wondering about the um, lack of graphics it's because that man right the there, Morius Gandani, is at okay. the yeah. table. Yeah. And as long as he's at the table, on. due to his status within the company, Nevada gaming regulations Two prevent us from showing the whole card, showing the graphics. Wow. That's how I'm planning to finish. Three major? We appreciate major your understanding. We appreciate you being out. with us. Yeah. While well, we play a bit of a guessing game, know, but hey, a little bit greedy. we'd rather bring you the final table stream as opposed to not doing a stream at all. So, if I just ask for two major ones, then you know, a bunch of small ones. Jeremy folds the button, still playing Omaha Eater better. Uh, Mori raising funny. small blind to big blind. Benny, very short at this point. Can't afford to play an entire hand if Mori wants to bet every single street. Queen, queen, three, two hearts here on the flop, and Mori Escondon comes out betting. Benny's only got, looks like, what, 600? behind so he's he's really going to be put to the test here in any hand that he plays starting with this one these decisions are very painful when you're this short you can't really afford to make any any egregious mistakes a couple of kings there Looks like King King four deuce for Morius Gandani as he's gonna rake this one in. The Continues to oh, ride the wave that he's been on. We took a break about, I don't know, half hour or so ago, 35 minutes ago, and ever since coming back from that break, it's been the Morius Kandani show. Yeah, he's won so it, many it's, it's normally the Morius Kandani show because he's the president of the company. He puts on all the shows, but this has really been 
the Mori Eskinani show. Yeah. Switching it up here to Raz. Seven card stud low ball. Let's go. Really, really pivotal, pivotal game for Benny at this point. 50,000 ante every single hand. If he gets stuck with the bring in, that's a big percentage of his stack. He is not the bring in. Mori with the bring in now. Benny, being this short, really can't afford to take too many steal attempts. So if he raises, it's more likely than not he has the goods to go along with it. I think if Jeremy has anything reasonable, any cards, not three cards, nine or lower, he's just going to raise and try and get it in with Benny and cards okay. on their back, see who wins. He does just that. He does not like this put Jeremy. the raise in. Glazer's going to make the call here. We're off to 4th Street. Five deuce now for Benny Glazer. Eight, seven for Osmus. Seemingly a good card for Benny Glazer, unless he paired, but he's coming out betting, yeah, so I, I would bet I would bet against him. I think pairing. the money's just, just going in yeah. at this point. The cards are on their back. Let's see. Let's see who runs out a winner. Osmus is ahead at this point with the eight seven four tray against the ten five four deuce of Benny, but the equities are, are very close at this point. Yeah, still three cards to come for each player. Maury's up card mm -hmm. was the King of Diamonds, so that's just inconsequential to what's going on here. Doesn't matter. Let's see who can win this coin flip. Yep. Ace of Diamonds, very good card for Benny Glazer to catch. Osmus does catch the ace. So Osmus has made an 8-7. Okay, so Benny Glazer, is, he's drawing to the nuts, the wheel. That's so. true. Osmus is still technically an equity favorite at this point, probably 60-40 against Benny Glazer. Can Benny find a three to lock this up? Finds a jack. That's not going to do it. A nine over there for Osmus. So. Inconsequential. If Benny finds a three, a six, or a seven, it doesn't matter what Osmus catches. He will win this pot, but he needs to improve. Yeah, and if he were to find an eight, he would Osmus. He would need Osmus to not improve his hand. Okay. Yeah. So Benny wants to sweat a three across, three across a six, seven, or eight. It's a no spot. No spot. That's pretty bad. He's a two to one underdog. No spot diamond. No spot diamond. So he's 50-50 now. Oh, no, he's yeah. dead. No, the, the no three, of diamonds, three of, diamonds of diamonds is over there in Oz's hand. So, so, so it, ha diamond. it has to be the deuce of diamonds. Oh. <laughs> Benny knows it's the deuce of diamonds, and his, his tournament is over. Right. Good game, guys. Good, game. Good luck. Oz was parrying his ace on the end. Did not yeah, matter. Benny Glazer finishes in third place here. He's going to collect 88000 Two hundred dollars in prize money. One more hand. There you see the trophy, and there you see the chip counts for the start of Heads Up Play here in event number three of the PGT Mixed Games series. Jeremy Osmus up out on top, just over five point five million for him. Moria Skandani in second place, three point nine million. Very interesting. What's that? Fifty? The trophy. The the design. A little different. Yeah, they're different. One, yeah. I think Benny's a little disappointed in, in that run coming into this this final table as the chip leader. Yeah, I know he was disappointed in the in the first event, not yeah, it might it. it might be a combination of the two, right? The first one he Ran up to the chip lead. You know, he got short early and was the shortest. He was six out of six at one point. But then he took the chip lead and had a big chip lead, ultimately finished in second place. So maybe coming out of that one, you know, a little bit of what could have been. And then this one, you come in, you're one out of five to start, and ultimately you fall in third place. Good results, yes, but I would imagine somebody like Benny Glazer, the experience that he has, I believe Whoa. the confidence that he has in himself is wow. probably like, man, I, I got to close these out, right? So, right. To what? Benny did cash for over eighty-eight thousand dollars, so that's that's yeah. not bad. That'll that'll put him through the rest of the rest of the tournament series. Of course. He also picked up eighty-eight points, so he moves up to one hundred and sixty-four points total. 
which I believe puts him in second place no matter what happens here. Whoever wins this tournament is going to move up to the top of the series leaderboard with 202 points, and then Benny Glazer would be he in second place with his player, no? 164. Yeah, he hasn't been a mixed player forever. What, who am I mixing him up with? God, my dead brain. Who is, I thought for sure he was a no limit player. <laughs> he has been recently, and he, he final tabled the... Okay, um, so he did... He's, he, he just final tabled the... Um, the win big. He finished table. second in the like win mil win millions for like two hundred two point eight million. Right. Yeah, that was not this before the first. Yeah, the big win. The first uh, WPT table, World Championship two, that two, the two win times. had. Oh, okay. So. You know, first was like four or five million. He got third or fourth or something. So he's been playing more no limit, but he's been a he's been a mixed guy at the World Series for years. Like you know, he's won. He's definitely a class races. act. He really is. Good guy. Yeah. People always say that after they break somebody, they say it's a class act, but I mean it. He, he really is a good guy. <laughs> Playing Raz here. Deuce for Morius Kandani. And a three for Osmus. That bring in's going to get it done. More, he just gives it up. These two players guaranteed $126,000 in prize money, yeah, first place. No. $201,600. Oh, yeah, 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 long time. All right. Players there referencing getting in the next event, which is currently ongoing. He's got a second soccer game today. He's, he's, they've Ooh. got a tournament this weekend. Both my grandkids are into sports. Yeah. How old are they? Nine and 11. Nice. Fun ages. They live here? They live here. Nice. And uh, they're into all sports. It would, I mean, between the two of them, football, golf, baseball, wow. volleyball, basketball, <laughs> nice. everything. Yeah. Jeez. That's good to try everything out, though. Yeah. See what you like. See what you're good at. Oz was going to bring it in with the king. Maury completes with an eight. Osmus gives it up. Last hand to Raz. I think we'll get more action in the following games than, than heads up Raz. It kind of takes two special hands to tango in heads up Raz. I don't even know if Maury looked at his cards before <laughs> raising in that in that spot. First game good. All right, switching it up now, heading into seven card stud. Oh, this thing is transparent. That was just a black box. You can see through it, though. Makes it a little more intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy is very fixated on that trophy. Commissioner's uh, like face silhouette. Face, yeah, silhouette or something. Like they did yeah. with the president. Yeah, Tim Duckworth, uh, you know, <laughs> side profile. That will look good. Hologram or something you know, like in there. That'd be really cool to have like a hologram box of you winning the trophy inside of the trophy. <laughs> Switch the game up now. Stud high. Three was the bring in. Ace was the complete and the snap fold from Mori. This is the game we saw end the tournament yesterday. Whereas pocket kings against pocket fours Paul, do you want and a raising war on third street. Game? You tell me so I can start working on it. Raz, stud, hold them, what? <laughs> What's your preference? I'd like to see it end on a split pocket and just like get 
That's hard. Well, why do you make a hard one? That's a hard one. <laughs> I think they're talking to Paul. Yes. Tournament director Paul Campbell here at ARIA does a fantastic job keeping all these players in check, making sure that these tournaments run as smoothly and efficiently as possible. Going to 5th Street here, King 5-7 for Maury, Deuce 4 Jack for Jeremy Osmus. Check, Maury check. Checks, yeah. Jack for Maury, 3 for Jeremy. Maury checks again. Both players playing relatively straightforward at this point. Yeah, Mo Osmus is going to stab. We are playing 200,000, 400,000 now, so could be some damage done in some of these pots. 7th Street down and dirty. Maury first to act Check. with the king high board. He checks. Osmus this, has this deuce four, jack three. This is a pretty big pot between these two. Yeah. And Osmus is going to yeah. bet again. All right, Maury's Good calling. Partner. Good. Deuces and threes for Jeremy Osmus. Maury mucks his hand. That pot going over to Mr. Osmus. Extends the, the gap a little bit there. Yeah, definitely over 2 million chips in that pot. Jeremy making the two pair on 7th Street. Let me take some more change from you. Please. I like Sorry. it. That's a million. <laughs> Who's this rookie? <laughs> they let anybody register these tournaments. Know, Didn't right? you know Tell that? About it. As long as you got some money, you can play some poker. It'll it just move the game faster. That's all. That was the weirdest hand. I was check raising you on Fifth Street. Oh, really? I was. Wow. Wow. An open and straight draw. Oh. Completely hidden. <laughs> like no chance he could know. Yeah. I don't know what would have been. I mean, if you'd bet and check raise, what would have happened? But he would have played the same. Yeah, for sure. So Maury had the queen ten down in that hand with the the king jack up, giving away his his exact holding in that spot. Maybe made a pair on the on Seventh Street and decided to to pay off the last bet. Fifth hand of limit hole or limit stud at this point. Six spades bring in. Complete. Raise. Mori getting after it with the complete and raise. Take it down. The studio. Night. This Night. studio opened 2018. 18. This, the one that we're in, the, yeah. we just renovated last yeah. year. Yeah. That's up for me. Complete. Raise. Do it again. Yeah, similar similar start to this one as we saw on the last hand. Maury completed, or sorry, Maury brought in. Jeremy completed. Maury came with a raise. This time, Jeremy makes the call, so we're going to 4th Street. Maury picks up an 8 to go along with okay. his 7. A deuce for Jeremy to go along with the queen. Maury comes out betting after checked 2. 
Deuce, very bad card for Jeremy, but he does decide to stick around. Could have three over cards to the seven. Six of spades on fifth down. for Morias and Donny, but Jeremy Osmus pairs that deuce. Jeremy Osmus first here with the pair of deuces showing. He checks. Yeah, you would expect any two pair from Jeremy to, to bet in this spot or maybe check raise. Mori comes with a bet, so at, at least not looking like he's worried about two pair right now. It is unlikely for Mori to have a combination of a straight at this point after bringing it in and raising the complete. So Jeremy needs to continue with, with two pairs at this spot. Seat open. Decides to give it up. Phil Helmuth in the building. Imagine walking in to a stream. <laughs> Televised yeah. final table barges room. onto the set how, how during a hand. Play? Three handers. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, come on. You do it. I know you do it. Oh, I'm happy for you. Paul may not let you do it, but we'll have, we'll, have, we'll have so much fun. To Phil do looks it. like he got you know a haircut, that. I think, under that hat. Yeah, I see it's good. <laughs> Are you playing? I'm about to sign up. All right, good luck. Coming in. Do some dining <laughs> oh, Phil. <laughs> what a treat. I don't think I'll ever have <laughs> the courage to do that. Just just walk in. And a future Poker Hall of Fame here. Maybe. Jeremy Austin. We'll see. <laughs> Game change. First hand of studies. They've got some history, Osmus and Helmuth. Uh, Osmus beat Helmuth heads up in the $50,000 PLO high roller at the World Series a couple of years ago, back yep. when it was still at the Rio. Daniel Negreanu finished third in that event. That is true. I remember that final table. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a fun one. And then I, I want to say even like last year, Jeremy and Phil had a little bit of a, a tiff between them because More, of the way Phil was acting at, at a final table, <laughs> and then Jeremy had a tweet complaint. saying that he's acting out of line, <laughs> and doesn't surprise they me apologized all, to each other and moved on, so... <laughs> Now we're playing heads up, stud eight or better. Very unorthodox fold, I know. Oh! In my in my experience, playing heads money. up or short stud eight or better, the equity or you, the way you want to look at your hands is way more weighted towards the high equity, more so than the low equity of the hands. Because high equities, there's always going to be a winner for the high side of the pot. There's not always going to be a low side winner for half of the pot. So you have way more likelihood of scooping the pot if you have a, a better high hand than your opponent. And you can win more. You I can mean, win the, more the low too. you're capped you at half, right, right. I mean, obviously you can win three quarters or whatever, but time. just for yeah. the low portion, you, the you know, the low is not winning you more than half the pot. Tournament. Right. And yeah. there's, there's always a high so and he's winning at least half the pot always. And he goes, hey, Jack, uh, you want to do anything? And Jack says, yeah, let's play winner take all. <laughs> <laughs> I heard uh, I heard uh, um, Lane Flack tell us a more story. Yeah. Pretty funny. <laughs> you want to do anything? Poker Hall of Famer, Future <laughs> Phil's Famer. back, and I think he's on Instagram. We're, yeah, we're Instagram living this right now. Right now, just click the button. Their heads up, they're on air. Meanwhile, I'm playing this tournament in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's truly one of a kind. Just I mean, imagine. It's absolutely there's nothing like him anywhere. It's unbelievable. Who who else could you think of that, that would do this? Just walk in, they're playing heads up for a Always trophy for a bunch of money team. in a ten K final table. No who else would do that? Yes. I really don't know. No one. You said he's one of a kind. You know, Phil yelled at me once in the studio. He I'm sure was, he's yelled at me too, was, but for something much different. He was different. going through one of his rants, losing. He was off the rocker. So there, it was a day one, but it was late. There wasn't any production here. So I busted out the camera, and I was like, let's go. Like, I'm part of the production team. Let's see if we can catch some stuff. Right. And he freaked out on me for filming him. He's like, are you allowed to film in here? I was like, dude, we're in a studio. It literally says that there's a sign outside that, that says, says filming in progress. <laughs> you are very well versed in the studio. <laughs> like, what, what do you mean? 
I can't film. <laughs> I can't believe. And he just walks in there, camera in, oh, in both of their faces, posting it on the internet for everyone to see. Maury looks like he's kind of reaching his limit. You know, he said two hours max for cash yeah, games. Yeah. We're over three hours at this point. Yep. I started this stream at 1 p.m. here in Vegas. It's 4.15 now. And it feels like these, these two players are, are, are in for the long haul. I mean, they're still pretty deep overall. Yeah, there's really not too much disparity between the chip stacks. No danger zone yet. I thought after the, the two-pair hand for Osmus that he would start running away with it, but Mori has climbed back. Okay, we get to see a fourth street this time. A 10 versus a jack. Yeah, nice looking king 10 of clubs out there on Mori Escondani board. On Mori Escondani's board, excuse me. Jack 7 for Jeremy Osmus. Mori bets and Osmus calls. Deuce for Mori, 9 for Osmus. Escondani checks. Yeah, pretty blank card for, for Mori at this point. Doesn't want to commit 400000 Wants to see how Jeremy responds, catching a 9. Osmus checks back. Tens are new. Tens are high. Pair of 10s showing for Escondani now. Osmus Great. gets an ace. Escondani comes out with a bet, 400k. Seems like a good card for both sides. I think Jeremy can, can safely assume that Maury does not have three tens at this point because he's yeah. opted to show aggression on third street more often than not with strong holdings. Maury is still first at this point. It does look like Maury bet out, and Jeremy thought about it for a while before folding. See, Maury bet out before I even had a chance to see it. The bet was just in the middle. <laughs> Big pot for, for Maury. They're very close in chip stacks now. Maury is definitely over, over 5 million in chips. We are sending 10 annual subscribers to compete in the PGT Championship Dream Seat Invitational. And that Dream Seat Invitational could ultimately get you into the PGT Championship Million Dollar Free Roll. Just become a PokerGo annual subscriber and you will be entered into our monthly giveaways. Head on over to PokerGo.com to get yourself signed up. And if you are a monthly or a quarterly subscriber for PokerGo, just upgrade to annual. You'll save some money in the long term. It, it is a cheaper price overall. Oh, one, two, nice and easy. First hand of limit hold him here. I expect there to be quite a bit of action. What's that? We draw for hands on the oh, yeah. We got that deep zoom. <laughs> Oh. 
raising a call. Ten five four rainbow. Check from Osmus. Snap bet from Eskandani. Osmus is in there. To the turn we go. Jack of clubs. Osmus checks. Eskandani bets. That's a check raise from Jeremy Osmus. Quick call from Morius Kandani. Very big pot developing here. Ace of spades on the river. Osmus comes with the bet and Morius Kandani lays it down. That's a very big pot. Yes. Couple million in that one there. Swinging the chip lead back over to Jeremy. We are heads up here at the PGT Mixed Game Series. This is event number three, ten thousand dollar buy-in horse tournament. First place, $201,600. Second place, $126,000. These two players. We got Mori Escondani here, Poker Hall of Famer, also the president of Poker Go, battling with future Poker Hall of Famer, Jeremy Osmus. There were 63 entries in this field to start, prize pool of $630,000. We are live from the Poker Go studio on the Las Vegas Strip. Escondani is going to fire this river. After two checks from Jeremy in position, Morris should be firing a lot of holdings. Jeremy, another raise. King. Osmus announces the king, but Escondani made a flush. So Osmus trying for, I guess, some thinner value. Not not the thinnest, but you know, hitting that king on the river, going for a raise. Yeah, and Maury didn't even think about about the three bet in that spot, which there is definitely merit to three betting the queen high flush after the action that transpired. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to think Osmus is just going to be checking full houses a lot. I mean, maybe he checks it on the flop, trying to get some more value on the turn when the bet gets larger. But he didn't bet the turn, right? <laughs> so. Yeah, Mori was the one talking earlier about about potentially missing bets in in limit games. Could have been a spot to make an extra four hundred thousand chips. Yeah, Osmus can raise there, of course, with a king like he did. He could maybe have some worse flushes too. In, yeah, in definitely, hundred percent. I think the better flushes probably is. do some sort there of betting at some point. <laughs> Mori's feeling it again. Three sevens oh, shows him kind of just fast. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's so much bigger than this that. Yeah. Just leave so him alone when you get to limit hold him. This he is his game. It. <laughs> Heads yeah. up stud, you can still control it. Hold him is out of control. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it really is. Oh, it's kind of out of control, but then you get half back a lot, so. True. Looks Jeremy like looks about four and a half million for. Just doing the same thing. Yeah, for Jeremy Osmus. Probably yeah. right about the so. same for Maury. Pretty close in chips overall. Maybe maybe more like five million for for Mori. Okay. Ten nine four here. Escondani comes out firing. There are two diamonds on the flop. Ten of hearts, nine of diamonds, four of diamonds. Osmus calls in position. Jack of okay. spades on the turn. Escondani checks. Okay. Bet from Osmus. Osmus did win the 3K six max limit hold'em. Was it? La it was last year, the year before, I think, two years ago at the World Series of Poker. Yeah, I think I think it was a couple years ago. I think it was his first his first foray into into mixed game poker. So no slouch to to limit hold'em.
Yeah, there's definitely a lot more action in this than any of the previous st stud games. We've seen at least a turn card, I think, every every single hand. Osmus checks that queen on the turn. Eskandani comes out with the bet. These pots get very big very quickly. You go on a little little run here, and the tournament's over, and you win. Check from Osmus. Bet from Eskandani here on the river. Mori's been wasting no time in making his actions. Osmus a little bit more methodical, kind of thinking everything through on every single street. Makes the call. Two pair for Morius Kandani, Queens and Jacks. Osmus Mux. Jeremy probably called him with a 10 there. Just hoping that Mori had some sort of open under straight draw that missed on the river. But like Mori said, he's, he's never bluffing annual subscribers. <laughs> Jeremy down to right around 4 million chips at this point. Can I get more of the yellow also? Okay. King, queen, nine, two clubs here. Eskandani check folds to a bet from Osmus. Drawing for hands. One hand will be played before the level goes up. Osmus going to color up some chips here, make things a little bit more efficient. Get rid of a lot of those purple 25Ks. Those yellow chips. The bumblebees, as I call them, 100 Ks. Escondani on the button here, comes in with the raise. That is a three bet from Osmus. Escondani quick with the call. So more than a million out there now. Queen, five, five. Osmus bets 200. Eskandani makes the call. Queen 5-5 five five on the flop here, followed by the 10 of clubs on the turn. Osmus first to act again. He was the pre-flop 3-better. He bets 400. Mori makes the call. Another big pot if Jeremy loses this one. Four on the river. Pretty big favor. Osmus comes Mori. again. Mori Eskandani yeah. makes the call. Couple of kings? Yep, wow, couple of kings. That's a hand to look at when An you absolute when powerhouse up, there for Jeremy Osmus, and he gets value on all streets. He gets three bets pre flop, he gets a bet on the flop, turn and river out of Morius Kandani. So big swing in Osmus's direction. Yeah, Jeremy's in the chip lead now. Is that better now? It is about 9.4, 9.5 million chips in play total. Yeah. Looks like Osmus probably has about 5.5 or so. So you guys can do the math there. But these two are swinging back and forth. Both have had the chip lead at times during this heads-up match. And with the limits going up now, we'll see even bigger pots developing. The limit's now 250,000, 500,000. Jeremy does make it 500,000 on the button, playing Omaha 8 or better. 
<laughs> Ooh. Must be a good one. Yeah, Ace Deuce Jack 10 double suited. Did it get cold in here? Yeah, I almost got <sighs> like five seconds ago. It did get cold in there. Man, is it? Hopefully, his wind stopped. It's crazy last night. Wind was going to stop Monday. Monday. Tomorrow is windy too. It's Jeez. crazy. People that are allergic to dust, they oh, must yeah. be like so miserable. Our house. Like, I don't know, it gets the wind so bad if it sounds like it's going to blow over at night. Raise five. Escondani with a raise. Check. Queen nine four, continuation bet. Take it down for Mori. It was definitely a battle, three-handed. Lasted for yeah. a long, long time, and it has not stopped yet. We're still, still heads up, and they are battling back and forth, exchanging chip lead pretty consistently. Just waiting for one player to break away. Raise. Another raise and take it from the button. Another strong holding from Jeremy on the button. Get somebody get this man a heater. He's <laughs> cold. He wants a heater in multiple meanings of the word. It's not that yes, bad. it's not terrible. It's cold. Yeah, Maury's taking offense to how how he keeps his his rooms. Just a limp from Maury. Raise from Jeremy. One, yeah, five total. Oh, you can see in Maury's eyes that he actually thought about folding before putting in in the chips, not realizing that he had to put in double the amount of chips he thought it was. Ace Queen five here. After Maury calls in position, Osmus comes out with the bet. Good flop for Jeremy. Escondani gets out of the way. Mori seems to be dwindling a little bit. He's definitely under four million chips at this point. Osmus kind of kind of pulling away a little bit, picking up pot after pot. In Omaha. No carry. Carry's not in here playing mix. He might play today. Oh, he might? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen him all He's week. He's been pretty busy. Shout out El Jefe. Oh, yeah. Uh, this this might be the longest tank we've had we've had from Mori <laughs> this entire final table. And it wasn't even that long. No, it was know. like four seconds. <laughs> but for him, it seems like an eternity. I mean, he probably felt bad. He should have apologized <laughs> for taking so long. I like those guys at the table that act instantly every single hand, and then they take three seconds to make a decision. They're like, sorry, guys, I just need... Dude, everyone else takes longer on every decision. Oh. 
Maury Betts. Very nice play. Very nice That's a strong yeah. sound in hand. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Ace five uh, for the uh, low. And five nine for the high. Or yep, five, I guess nine. six nine for the high. Yeah, six, for nine the ten for the high straight. straight. It's going to be a scooper there for Maury Iskandani. The Poker Hall of Famer. I guess he had a reason to to think for an extra two seconds on the turn. And then hits the perfect card on the river. Maury raising it from the button. Quick call from Jeremy in the big blind. Check. Check. Jack 8 6. Two diamonds. Check. Check. Turn three. Check. 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 Check again. River four. We will have a low this hand. Okay. And a fold from Jeremy. Mori on a, a couple hand heater. Mm. Evening the gap. Last hand Omaha 8 or better. Then we get to play Raz, and it's back to the studs where there's not as much action as these as these flop games. Kind of takes two special hands to do battle in the heads-up stud streets. Check. Jeremy continuing on the ace jack raise. six all hearts. Check raise from Maury. And Jeremy wants to continue. Pretty inconsequential nine of clubs on the turn. Deuce of clubs on the river, bringing in a low. Check. Check. Maury checks after representing a flush on the previous streets. If Maury has 2-3, it just got oh, counterfeited flush. with the deuce on the river. Yeah, 10 high flush versus 9 high flush. Both players flopping the flush. Jeremy needing to catch the low to get half of the pot. Game change, first hand of Raz. First hand Jeremy of did have two pair on that turn. 50 Could have paired the nine or six <clears throat> on the river to give him a full house to take the entire pot. Raz, 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 Raz. I just hope for some pizza? action. I just want I just want there to be a hand that we get all the way to showdown where this we get to see fourteen total cards. The crew orders pizza, right? Did Maury just say he's ordering us pizza? I don't know what he said. Something about pizza. I mean I Normally so. if we go like this long, start approaching five o'clock here, yeah, don't usually shoot, pizza shoot. shows up. Right. Or something. Hmm. Wow. They accidentally dealt me a stud hand. <laughs>
Last night, my girlfriend's job got Panera delivered for their lunch, and they had a bunch of leftovers. So that was my dinner last night, was uh, <laughs> leftover Panera from, from her lunch. J-Club's bringing. I don't know what it is about Panera. It's just, it's never, like, really good, but it's okay most of the time. So, yeah, I just never, just, I just never have like a, a truly good experience with it. Yeah, but you're never probably going to get bad either. You just, you just know it's just, it's just like it's always going to be like very, par for the course. Yeah, you know? right. That, that's the what consistency. you Consistency. And I love salads. I just, I don't know what it is about Panera. Cool. All right, we're going to Four Street here. Three for Morius Kandani. He gets a deuce. Oh, we got some fighting. We got hands a lot here. of action. Mori yeah. brought it in with with the three. Jeremy completed with the ace, and then Maury raised with the three. Both players catching a great card. Here. Certainly could see some blood on this hand. Yes. One winner game, two. There's already a lot of chips in the middle. Ooh, an ace yeah. for Maury Kandani. He's looking really good with the three-deuce ace. A ten for Osmus. Not the best card for Osmus, of course, but... Depending on what he has underneath, may still come along to see sixth. Escondani does come out firing with a bet. Yeah, this is a this is a tricky spot for for Jeremy at this point. He knows Mori has a very strong holding, which may or may not contain an ace or a deuce. Osmus does elect to does give it up. To go. Escondani rakes that one in. We are heads up here in event number three at the PGT Mixed Game Series. My name is Donnie Peters. I'm joined alongside by Kevin Gerhardt. A four-time gold bracelet winner. First time I ever played heads-up Raz. I won a, I won a bracelet. There you go. We got some fighting cards once again. We got a four for Mori Escondani. We have an ace for Jeremy Osmus. Escondani brought in. Osmus called. Nine for Escondani. A nice-looking five for Osmus to go with his ace, and he's yeah. going to bet this one. Jeremy should bet here because Mori has only brought it in. He has not shown... Any information as to the strength of his hand. Escondani does make the call and then gets an seven. eight, seven for Osmus. So two Osmus, very close yeah. boards. Close boards and Osmus, you know, running out check pretty check. well so far. Check check. King for Escondani. Deuce for Osmus. I would guess Osmus comes out with a bet here. That board is just looking a little bit too strong. Against a king and a nine for Morius Kandani. Osmus does just that and takes it down. Oh, that's too low. There's a brand new season of High Stakes Poker airing right now on Poker Go, and it just might be the show's most thrilling season yet. Join us. On Mondays for new episodes from season 12's, season 12 of Poker's most iconic cash game show. You gotta be a PokerGo.com subscriber. And Mori Escondani, he he's the man behind high stakes poker. So if you're becoming a fan of him today from his play at this final table, you're probably a fan of him for high stakes poker as well. We got a battle here. These two have been going at it for quite some time. There we see Poker Hall of Famer, Morius Kandani, president of Poker Go. Looking for his first PGT victory. Jeremy Osmus has had a few of them. Osmus brings in. Escondani completes. 
Osmus raises, Eskandani calls. Both players have a nine. We are playing Raz. A king for Eskandani, a deuce for Osmus. That deuce is going to look good for Osmus, and he comes out betting. Eskandani gives it up, and Osmus takes that one. Broadcasting stuff. 1995. I mean, we put the table together, but uh, actually starting yeah, cool. like 2002, something like that. It was just. How'd you get into it? You By accident. Someone you knew, or just an idea you had, or totally accident. Henry Henry Ornstein, may he rest in peace. Mm -hmm. uh, he really wanted to do a. Uh, seven card stud tournament, $400,000 buy-in. The idea of super high rollable was supposed to be seven card stud, not no limit holder. $100,000 buy-in? 400000 400000 And I got Chip and Doyle, Barry Grinstein, Gus Hansen, Bill Ivey. Wow. Henry, Henry wanted to play. I mean, Henry was a zillionaire. Who's that? Oh, just Henry Ornstein. Oh, uh, Hen the guy you're yeah. talking about. Okay. Yeah. He wanted to play. His vision, huh? Yeah, he wanted to play. And the, the, the table that we have is actually a seven card stud table. Like the, the whole idea was bring your cards in. on oh, really? Glass, yeah. That's what the idea was. Could you imagine a $400,000 buy in seven card stud tournament? <laughs> That's insane. I don't know, maybe so we need ridiculous. to run it back. In 95, no less. <laughs> I know, right? What's that worth today? <laughs> That's bananas, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he even said that, that they had the, the table with the glass, so the cameras were coming from down below instead of behind, which I've seen those tables before. Yeah. Maury said he still has the table in, in storage. I should go uh, go check it out. Yeah, very cool. I mean, I, I know where the storage unit is, so I should just go break in. Just go look around for yourself. Two uh, not very good RAS boards developing here. Jeremy in the tank now, facing a bet. Does not like the king or the jack on his board, but Maury doesn't really have a scare, a too scary of a, of a board at this point, jack 10. It's quite, it's quite a Raz hand. Yeah, we're, <laughs> everyone's doing great. This is this is actually very interesting, with how close these these two boards are at this point. It's going to cost Jeremy a lot of chips just to see a seven street. I, I mean, I don't Do I don't fault him for coming along here. Think this is as long as he what? still has equity. <laughs> I think it's that high, right? So, Maury is representing a jack-10 low made, drawing to a 10. Jeremy is representing, or Jeremy being the caller, definitely has a queen-jack-9 low, drawing to the jack-9. So, if Maury improves and makes a 10, he can't lose this hand. And that's what he's going to represent here, coming out with this bet. Yeah, Jeremy can only make a jack-9 low. Very easy fold if Jeremy doesn't improve but if he does improve he might have to pay this off very tricky spot another 500,000 chips Regardless, if Jeremy loses this hand, I think it will be the biggest chip disparity we've seen in this heads-up battle. Maury taking over a commanding lead if he does manage to win this pot. Not sure if I can tell if Jeremy did improve and is trying to guess correctly or if he didn't improve. 
It, if he didn't improve and he's he's thinking this long, I mean, you have to have two basically paired cards or, you know, kings in Mori's hand think that he's just on a complete steal and just blasting off, which in Raz, it's, it's very possible, very likely. It is possible. I mean, Jeremy is... Like, hit the bo the cards that he have do don't help his decision because those are the cards he wants Mori to have, right? right exactly. You know, so he's like, man, I'm just unblocking the bluffs over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Having Mori with one card be paired as Seven opposed to Mori having two cards be paired. Start with what? Seven? Seven yeah. and a oh, three. Like a or six and a three. At the end, but I did start with that. I made a bad So Mori was... Betting is jack-10 for value on the end, I guess. I Obviously, Jerry, Jeremy didn't improve, because I think Jeremy has to call if, if you improve to the jack-9 on the end. Yeah. Wow, I wonder what Jeremy really caught. Really he, he caught all the bad cards already. There's not many, very many <laughs> bad cards for him to catch. It's a pretty big pot going Mori Escondani's way there. See if we can get a look at these stacks as we're switching on over to seven card stud. It looked like Jeremy was right around three million chips. Jeremy probably wishing the last hand was seven card stud. Yeah, his his <laughs> board is a lot scarier. Yeah, Osmus looks like he's got just about three million, which would mean that Moria Skandani has about six point four million. There's about nine point four, nine point five million about. chips in play. Mori's gonna bring it in here with the four of spades. Osmus should auto complete. Gets it done. As you get shorter and shorter handed, I knew stud once I becomes had the game. <coughs> Chip and Doyle accept to yeah. play and show their whole cards. Everyone else would follow. I mean, like they were it. If they if they said yes to something, so the whole stud or just every for everything. It was a stud, but then you know it changed to no limit holdem because obviously that, that no was limit. the first idea that it was yeah was stud. No limit holdem so much easier obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Maury's got a queen and has to bring it in. Osmus makes the call with calls. an ace. Yep. Escondani gets a three. Both players get a three. Escondani's is a second club to go with his queen of clubs on board. Osmus checks. Escondani bets. Osmus makes the call. Again, we are playing seven card stud high right now. Switched it over two hands ago. Ten of clubs for Mori Escondani. Five of clubs for Jeremy Osmus. Osmus still first, but... Maury's board is looking like it's developing pretty nicely for him. Osmus checks and Escondani fires a bet. Osmus is in there with the call. Here comes 6th Street. Pair of threes now showing for Mori Escondani. He takes the betting lead. Osmus picked up a six there. Yeah, Mori's board is, is very scary at this point. Jeremy is going to have to have something pretty special to continue in this hand. That will cost good. him half of his remaining stack. Yeah. All right, he, he's in there. Jeremy's kind of playing this hand like he has aces. Seventh Street down in Durian. Mori Escondani comes out betting dark. Just doesn't even need to see it. We're already there. Good luck to you, sir. Do we want to put in a quarter of our remaining stack on this river? Here comes the raise. We want to put in half of our remaining stack. Raise. Re-raise oh. for Mori Escondani. That is bad news for Jeremy. Did he make his flush? Did he make a full house? I think Jeremy made aces up on the ends and is going for value. This well, is not a good spot to be in. 
Making aces up is interesting uh, because he didn't. He elected to just call the bring in, right? He didn't. Right. He, he just didn't attack with the raise. There. I like playing shorthanded or heads up stud style pots. Very right. tricky, uh, giving your opponents more rope or more incentive when you have such a strong holding, more so than representing yourself. I mean, I guess it's possible Jeremy has a straight. A straight and ace is up is, is very similar in hand strength oh. against Maury's board. I think I think with the way that Jeremy's acting right now, has at worst two pair. You I, know, I think, and, I think it's, and it's likely the pair. ace is up, right? So yeah. and he's just I mean you heard him say there, he kinda of mumbled under his breath, really? Like you, you really have it? Like you And there wasn't even a decision there. It was raise, raise. Like, Maury did not take any time to to put in the third bet on 7th Street. What are the chances this is a straight for Jeremy Osmus? He gives it up. Okay. I have full house. You know that. Huh. Bad river for me. Wow. Queens and threes in the hole for Maury Escondani. I think Jeremy oh, said I bad river, yeah, which I get through these. I've been using these things. <laughs> One, two. Definitely might. I mean, he, he could yeah. have had aces from the start and just played it tricky, trying to set a trap. Made aces up, went for the raise, and has to fold. Wow, Maury in a commanding a chip lead at this point. Was that a, a cool, cool one? Or as... Did you have any side flush? What did you have? Straight. Straight, yeah. Straight. So you had aces, slow play the aces wow. made a straight, or you just ran into a straight, yeah. I had I had an over I had ace king. And then I then I got a gutter. And you hit the four on the end. Wow. Yeah, I was starting to say that I was you know, I was wondering if it could have been a straight. Just kind of the way that he was thinking about it. Ultimately I thought he probably would have called with a straight. You know? It's so well, hard when you when you have so much equity in your hand is so underwrapped. <laughs> three came on and over, you have a three up. <laughs> I know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I have the king of clubs, so, too. So, I don't know. I really don't know. But I think this is a one I can fold. Looks like Osmus has around three quarters of a million, so 750k or so remaining in his stack. I think Maury's pushing about 8.7 million in his stack over there. It's been an impressive run for Maury, that's for sure. He he got that down pretty major, short, uh, had to double up twice. Hit. Not a suck up. That hasn't been a yeah, that, yeah. that was yeah, a major hand. Straight versus full house heads up. Major hand. No, you were had the whole way. You had queens right away. Queens, yeah. You just then. And Jeremy didn't yeah, even yeah, complete yeah, with yeah, his ace king. I'm saying, well, that's that's why I called because I'm like. Yeah, you kind of just are bet, you know, you might just got to bet your board a lot. Like your board looks, your board looks really good. I had two clubs blocking it. I don't know. <laughs> Jeremy doesn't even get his chips out there. <laughs> yeah, Maury brought it in with the three of clubs. Or sorry, Osmus brought it in with the three of clubs. Maury Escondani has the ace of spades and completed. Osmus is in there. Looks like he's got about half a million behind now. Still playing seven card stud here. King of hearts for Maury Escondani. Seven of hearts for Jeremy Osmus. Should be very favorable here for Maury Escondani. It's a very scary card. I mean, obviously, Maury, Maury has any two cards in the hole, but the power of ace king high in this spot, especially if Jeremy doesn't have a pair. Yeah, he just he just gives it up, lives to fight another day. Only half a million chips left. It has gotten very one-sided very quickly. 300, 600, yeah. the same level we had not, yesterday. Not what, uh, not what Jeremy Osmond wants to hear now that he's only got about 500K left. And Morius Kandani over there is on about 8.9 million. Yeah, Which also it. means he's pretty much got one hand on that trophy, okay? He, he's he's right there. Just needs to close it out. But I will say that if anyone knows that a comeback can happen, it's probably Maury because he was very low during three-handed play. He yes. was 
you know, hovering around 800, 900K at some point, and he was able to storm back and have a comeback. Yeah, Blake, is going to bring it in here. 100,000, 300, here we, here we go. Let's see if Maury so wants to what, what get, have get it in here. How's it going, Ace? How's it going, Ace? Here we go. We have ace high for Maury Escondani. Ace 8-5 up against the King 10-9 for Jeremy Osmus. Jeremy Osmus is the shortest stack. He is the player at risk in this hand. If Jeremy Osmus cannot find a win, this tournament will be over and the trophy will be headed to Maury Escondani. Let's see. We got a 4 for Maury Escondani. We have a jack for Jeremy Osmus. Nice Jeremy one. Osmus looking pretty good there with the... Inside straight draw. Yeah, Jeremy's equities are, are higher than Maury's equities, even though Maury is technically ahead with ace high at this point. Fifth street. Six for Maury Escondani. Jeremy also picks up a pair of nines and takes the lead. Jeremy firmly in the driver's seat in this hand. A five for Maury Escondani, oh, so he seven. pairs his five. Okay. Jeremy Osmus has a seven now. You only have one pair, right? Yeah. Two All right, straight. this will be an interesting I card. Two straight draws. No, uh, yeah. yeah, you got a double gutter. Eight or a queen you need. Seventh straight here will be huh? face down. Players can spread it out if they want. <laughs> Maury's just going to flip it over. I, I don't expect there to. A little sweat. A little sweat. A little <laughs> right. A right. deuce. So that means Jeremy Osmus is going to secure the double up there, and we fight on here in event number three of the PGT Mixed Game Series. Jeremy ended up making kings up huh? on the end there. Kings and nines. Give him the double. So Osmus back up over a million. Yeah, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. that's true. That's true. All those stud hands, I think you were just ahead the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> I was just behind but a bunch of winners. This will be the final hand of the stud rotation of games. We'll be moving on to stud high low, which is a split pot game, of course. Maury's going to bring it in here with the eight of diamonds. Jeremy Osmus has ten of spades. Just gives it up. So let's move it on to the next game, boys. Stud high low. Here we come. Game change. First hand of stud eight. If we end up making it through this this round of stud eight, could could see some some fireworks in the hold'em round. I think that is where the game is going to end, is the hold'em round. I mean, they're playing 300,000, 600,000. If we, if we make it to hold'em, I mean, it's going to be fun. Yeah, there's just a lot of, a lot of split pot games in this one. Maurice Kandani going to bring it in here with the deuce of spades. Six of clubs for Jeremy Osmus. You guys can see his chips there. He's got about 900, maybe 900 and change, something like that. So one and a half big bets. Again, playing 300,000, 600,000 are the limits right now. Decides to play cautious and just, just calls. And Escondani pairs his ducks. Shout out Brent Hanks, ducks on the pond. Does that count in stud? Uh, it has to count, right? I mean, <laughs> Osmus gives it up there. Your path to poker mastery is waiting for you over at octopipoker.ai. Join Octopi Poker's growing community. Explore the game together. Improve your knowledge. Get on in there at octopipoker.ai. Free for a limited time. Still in their beta program, but I believe that's going to be ending soon is what I'm told. So if you want to check out what Octopi has to offer, I would encourage you to do so. Jeremy up to 700000 Fighting. He's he's fighting. Fighting. Just over one big bet. Let us know in the chat who you're rooting for. Are you rooting for Maury to close it out? Are you rooting for Jeremy to 
Yeah, stage so quite an epic comeback. Much, right? um, I always love I, a good underdog here. story. Uh, it was one of the. Uh, we all know who the who the favorite uh, I is. Beat but Ali, Ali and Cervic. Hey, you beat him. Yeah, that's he, awesome. He, he took a selfie from me and he sent it to his mom. <laughs> that's great. I didn't know that. I think the words raise are coming from Jeremy. <laughs> what did Can't I get fold myself now. into? You cannot fold. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you got yourself yeah, into. You, there's yeah. still four cards to come that yeah. you could suck out. So it's, just put the money 400K in. 400K <laughs> more. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, <laughs> just, you you just point. called? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just don't want you to catch a 10. There it is. Take a speed bet. All I'm right. Take cards over. All right, Maury has Ace King, Queen Five up against the Tens for Osmus. Osmus Jack Ten Ten Four. Still three cards to come for each player. Once again, Jeremy Osmus is the player at risk. Maury, the only one that has a shot at making a low here. Six for Maury Escandani. Queen for play. Jeremy Osmus. Maury could back his way into a low. I'll pick really high or really low. High like a nine, that'd be good. <laughs> really high like a nine. Nines are pretty high. An eight for Mori Escondani, a king right. for Jeremy Osmus. Okay. I think I'll just take... I think the really equities here are, are so close right now. <laughs> I'll take a chance. Yeah, Mori could win half the pot with a low. He could... Beat when Jeremy the for the high. With <laughs> really king, high. queen. Queens. Queens. Morius Gandani makes a queen. So now Jeremy has Pair to improve. Oh, it's shit. That's a straight. I didn't realize I had a straight draw. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Osmus didn't, didn't think that card mattered, but that card did matter. The nine of spades on the end makes him a king high straight, and he finds the double up. Because it wasn't a paint. Jeremy sweats. The way he threw it over was like, oh, well, it's over. <laughs> and then straight. <laughs> nope, straight, sir. Jeremy sweats any four across or any line, and he wins the hands. He just wasn't sure. Wasn't sure the nine was the right card for him. Live to fight another day. I mean, now we have some chips to play around with. Yeah, it looks about 1.6 million, maybe slightly less than that for Jeremy Osmus. So Mori Escondani is over there on probably about 7.9 million. Mori Escondani is going to bring it in here with the deuce of spades. Jeremy Osmus has the 10 of clubs. Sounds like he's going for a raisin chips. There it is. Completes to 300. Morius Kandani's in there. Deuces are mean. Deuces are high. Another deuce for Morius Kandani. Another duck on the pond. Pairs the deuce, and Jeremy's got a jack to go along with that 10. Morius Kandani has the betting lead. He comes out firing. Yeah, Morius should just be betting every time he has the betting lead in this spot. Osmus makes the call. Here comes fifth. King for Mori Eskandani. Ten for Jeremy Osmus. Now it's Jeremy Osmus' turn back in the betting lead. He's got a pair of tens. As they say, a pair of tens are new and high. Yeah, and he's, he's coming with it. He's asking, Mori, do you have three of a kind or do you have two pair? Mori just <laughs> Maury might because he's, raised, he's raising here. So oh, boy. Let's get the money in. Well... Or he could have two pair as well. I mean, he could. He could just definitely. I have a flush draw. Oh, he had a flush okay. draw. So, okay. Maury with a pair of deuces and four spades. Jeremy Osmus has a pair of tens. He's also got three diamonds, so he could back into a diamond flush. Yeah, there's there's no low possibility. One person will win the entirety of this pot. Jeremy Osmus is out in front right now. He is the player at risk, though, so he has to hold on to stay alive. Still two cards to come for each player. The diamonds are fairly large. Okay. 
Six for Mori Eskandani, five of diamonds for wow. Jeremy Osmus. So that flush draw is now live for Jeremy Osmus. Come in okay. a very pivotal yeah. spot. Not that he needs to hit the flush. He is ahead with the pair of tens, but helps to have that, that backup should you need it if it comes to it here. Yeah, that's why I'm, that's why I'm so If Maury does not improve here on 7th Street. Phil Helmuth is back yeah, in the room. Just, All right. Maury just wants to see the ace of spades. The can ace of spades those, for him would lock up the, the victory for this know. hand. Phil's a little, very, very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what's happening anymore. Maury has one out to end it right here no matter what. But he needs to improve. <laughs> and what do I, we just I, did this well, a couple of times already. I might have. I, well, let me see. Uh, I don't yeah, think it's a spade. Good. I don't have a flush. That's good news for you. Uh, you have a face card? Sweat a lot. He's, he's not sweating a line. I mean, the more he sweats, the more does he think it's a three yeah. across? Six of diamonds. That's two yeah. pair. Two pair. All right, sixes and deuces. So no, Osmus needs to find two black. pair of trips or a diamond. Black face card. Jack, Jack of spades. Up. He, wow. knew that, he knew that card counted that time. Jeremy Osmus makes jacks and tens. Another double up for him. Uh, We're back in business now. 1.475 is the amount that Jeremy Osmus is all in for. Yeah, it was. I was. He'll be up to 2.93 million or so. So Osmus... Has some fighting chips now. You know, he, he'll still be no at a disadvantage to no Mori Eskandani, but Osmus <laughs> has a few bets to work with now, a little bit more flexibility within his stack. Wow, Jeremy all in and at risk, needing to improve on 7th Street twice. Like I said, if anyone knows about a comeback, it. Mori Eskandani knows that things can well, swing. Yeah. He was once down very Maybe. short. He ran he it back up. Right? Now it's Jeremy Osmus' turn. 600 or, or something? Um, less than that. I think less. Yeah. Less. I had four, maybe? He had, he had like 450, 475, something like that. Wow. It's a battle. Like I said, this might end in, in limit yeah, hold'em. Yeah, now we have a better shot to make it into <laughs> limit hold'em, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All right, who are you guys rooting for out in the chats out there, huh? Is Mori Eskandani going to be able to stop the bleeding here and finish this thing off, or... Is Jeremy Osmond going to continue to ride this little bit of a hot streak here? Maury brought it in there with the six of spades. Jeremy completed with the seven of spades, and Maury got out of the way. And Jeremy's back over three million chips. Still a two-to-one underdog in terms of chips, but plenty of chips to fight with. Yeah, it looks like Osmond has about 3.3, 3.4 million, which would mean that Maury Eskandani has uh, right around six million. There's about 9.4 or 9.5 million chips in play. Mori Eskandani, the Poker Hall of Famer, looking to get his first PGT victory inside How about the Phil Poker Hall Just randomly showing up when they're all in. <laughs> what is that about? Where does he come from? He's Phil Hall. I mean, he's just, he's just, he has like he has like the sixth sense for like when the when the moment calls for it. <laughs> like for him to just be there, so like the cameras are on him, the spotlight is on him. Yeah, like the, the bat. He just feels shining. it, you know. He feels the energy. Oh, I gotta go there. I gotta go. Like that's what he feels, and then <laughs> boom, he's there. <laughs> Jeremy Osmus has been in the winner's circle several times here at the Poker Go Studio. He won the Poker Go Cup couple of years ago, the the overall series title for that. One of the best players in the world, certainly one of the best players on the PGT, always contending, you know, within the top five to ten of the PGT leaderboard every single season. He did say he loved that this is available for him and that he only plays tournaments. He does have 60 caches. Just in the poker room. It was... First place that we came in was a watch store that had been gone out of business. The entire store might oh, have been. Oh, I, I went in there. Before, yeah, I, yeah, by valet, right? Yeah. We, yep. We squeezed the control room in in a uh, closet. <laughs> Basically, it really yeah, did. Yeah, I, I went there. I did commentary there with Ali. Actually. Yeah, that was the first place. Then we went down the basement while this was being built. 
Oh, maybe I remember the basement. Interesting journey. We are yeah, moving into yeah, yeah, Limit Hold'em. The other one I don't know if I saw. I remember that one. Huh? Okay. I don't believe I saw that one. Still pretty big limits here relative to Jeremy's stack. 10 8 4 rainbow here. Mori Eskandani checks over to Jeremy Osmus, who's going to fire a bet. Mori Eskandani gets out of the way. As a reminder, seven chips. hands of each game will be played. Sorry, what was that? You just picked up 600,000 chips? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it, when, when you're the shorter stack, it's meaningful, certainly. We have seen Maury go on some pretty incredible limit hold'em runs at this final table. Can he continue his streak? I, I feel like Maury is, is looking a little bit deflated. Just a little bit, yeah. Oh, like a little bit, I you know, not, not a lot. Tired but than deflated. Yeah, but like when you're winning, you're energized, you're feeling good. Yes. When you're when you're losing, you you maybe you start to feel that tired. Maybe you start yawning like he just did. Maybe yeah. you're like, man, like is, is this really gonna get away from me? Like, you know, not that he's like totally losing it, but I'm a slight sense of that. So just we'll see what happens bit. from here. I mean, you in the, in his situation, he's had his opponent all in twice, needing to improve on Seventh Street, and both times. Winds up with the worst hand. Yep. Well, Mori Eskandani takes that one down there. I think this is the third hand of Limit Hold'em. This is the most action game in the mix as it pertains to uh, heads-up play. There's a reason to raise almost every button. If you are watching on the PokerGo YouTube channel... Please be so kind as to throw us a like. Hit that thumbs up button on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. We bring you poker content every single day, including some free live streams like this one. Hopefully we can do more, but the analytics got to back us up. So if you help us with those analytics, you might get some more content. Osmus bets the flop here and takes it down. Morius Kandani on the left in the black PGT hoodie. Jeremy Osmus on the right in the sand-colored track jacket and the backwards black cap. It is kind of interesting. Now, now that I see, Jeremy looks like he has another jacket on the chair behind him. Yeah, th I think that's the PGT vest, or maybe it's just a regular vest or a puffer jacket, whatever. But, yeah, and he, he was saying that it was cold, so he, cold? Could always, he could put that on, <laughs> you know? Okay. All right, here we go. Mori Eskandani raising on the button. Jeremy Osmus makes it three bets from the big blind. Mori Eskandani calls. So that's 900K each in the middle between these two. King, eight, seven, two diamonds. Osmus going to come out betting this board. Three bets with the double flick from Mori Eskandani. With no thought. I think he even beat Jeremy into the pot. With all these chips. Osmus makes the call. Another 600K each. That's 3 million chips in the middle at this point. Queen of spades here. Yeah. Osmus yeah. checks in flow. Mori snap checks behind. Six of hearts on the river. I think Jeremy's pretty inclined to, to get to a showdown at this point unless he has something. Check, check. Very, very good. Look at that flop for wow. Mori Eskandani. Flops an open-ended straight flush draw. <laughs> gets there with the six of hearts on the river to make a pair of sixes. Didn't see Jeremy's hand, but... Jeremy had a pair of fives. Pair of with, fives, With okay. the five of diamonds. Okay, got it. 
So Jeremy was technically ahead on the turn. Well, or he didn't didn't think he had that many <laughs> that many outs going into the river. Any six, any nine, any five, any ten, any diamond. It's hits hard to win a pair after the quote unquote worst one on the river like and still wins. Yeah, for sure. Osmus down to about 2.4 million in chips, which means Mori Escondani is up to 7 million. Osmus here on the button comes in with a raise. Escondani makes the call. 1.2 million in the middle right now. 8, 6, 3, two clubs. Mori Escondani checks. Jeremy Osmus bets. Raise from Morius Kandani and Jeremy Osmus is out of the way. So two in a row for like Morius Kandani. Let's, let's see Mori go on a, a limit hold'em heater. And it, it does seem like he, not just now, but throughout the entire final table, Mori feels it in limit hold'em. He really but you does. can definitely tell that like this is his game. Not that he can't play the other games well, of course he can, but this game specifically, he's he's in there, he's betting quickly. You know, you can even tell like kind of the way he flicks in the chips, the comfort level. Yeah, he doesn't care about any solvers. He's he's seen millions of limit hold of hands. He knows what he's doing. Looks like Osmus has been chopped down to about 1.5 million. Morius Kandani on the button puts in a raise. Jeremy Osmus makes the call. Jeremy's pretty short. He's only got about two, maybe two and a half bets behind. Check from Osmus. Favorable board for Mori. He bets it. Shows the king nine of hearts as well. Osmus can't do anything. Switching it up here. Omaha eight or better. Quickly. Uh, 501, whatever million. <laughs> We're playing 300, 600. Anybody wants three that rotation certainly did belong to Mori Escondani. Doing very well there I in limit hold'em. Yeah, Osmus had the best of it no, during no, stud eight or better. Yeah, you know, getting those two double ups. Mori Escondani got the best of it there during hold'em. We'll see what happens here in Omaha eight or better. Looks like Osmus has about a million, if you include the yeah. the blind there. Again, these players are guaranteed $126,000, more than $201,000 up top. Osmus, oh. Osmus just puts his hand into the buck there. And with oh, the nature man, of how right? short Jeremy yep. is, he should be looking to play quite a few of these Omaha 8 pots. I mean, if, if you just fold and give up your blinds, that's a huge portion of your stack. The equities oh. in this game run so close. I mean, Maury, Maury could technically raise the button here dark to try and put Jeremy all in and at risk. The only hand that Maury doesn't want to see is trips in his hand. This is a great spot for Maury. See if he can get lucky in a hand. Knock out Jeremy. All right, let's go. Or 175. Let's see what we can do. See if Maury can win this hand and close it out, or if Jeremy will double up, or he might chop it. Right. Bunch of low cards there for Maury Escondani. He has five, four, three, deuce. Jeremy also has ace, ten, nine, eight. Ah. Slight mathematical advantage here to the two, three, four, five for the, the low equity. Lace. I will kick yeah. in lace as long as there's another baby going with yeah. it. Slight mathematical advantage to, to Mori at this point. I mean, for Jeremy having half his stack Ooh, already like all it. in Ooh. from like the big blind, that's a that's a really good hand for him. But this this Lord flop, is is seven five four all hearts. Yeah, this flop favors Maury very highly. 
Maury has two pair with five four. Three of hearts. Like yeah, so the turn. Maury has eight. a live deuce for a seven low. The best that Jeremy could do is an eight low, and his two pair is good. So Jeremy is looking for a six. Eight won't save you. Eight, nine, is this over? No, no, you need a six. You need a six. It's not, yeah. it's not over yet, but it's close. Okay, <laughs> okay, Maury Eskinite, do, don't be, don't be counting those chickens before they hatch. Jack of hearts no, on the river. That is going to do it. <laughs> Morius Kandani, the Poker Hall of Famer, the president of Poker Go. He is the champion here in event number three of the PGT Mixed Game Series. It's Morius Kandani's first Poker Go Tour victory. He takes home $201,600 for the win. Jeremy Osmus, a very good showing for him. Second place, $126,000 for him. Coming up. Here from the PGT Mix Games, we have the live stream tomorrow of event number four, ten thousand dollar eight game. That final table will take place right here on Poker Go and the Poker Go YouTube channel. Action will start at four p.m. Eastern time, one p.m. Pacific time. There you guys see the field in event number four. Looks like a pretty good field out there battling. I see Phil Hamuth in the mix. We'll see if he can make his way to the final table for us. That's going to do it. His name next to me, Kevin Gerhardt. He'll be back tomorrow, as will I, Donnie Peters. We appreciate you guys, as always, for tuning in. Tomorrow we will be back, and we will have whole cards. Okay, whole cards will be back as well. So have a good night, everyone, and we will see you tomorrow.